guys welcome back to another twitch for this is from the uh, 28th of march look it's been a bit of a, a wibbly wobbly um i'm a week out from my last dental surgery that was a wow alert my bad um yeah but it was just a really chill mount farm monday uh got some mounts yay I hope you enjoy the VOD. If you have uh, the generosity and the, the inclination to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, uh, TikTok, Facebook, all that kind of stuff, or join us in Discord, you can scroll down into the description box and hit those buttons there. Otherwise, if you want to catch me live on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Fiamma, if you pop slash schedule on the end of that, you will get a schedule, obviously, <laughs> converted to your time zone, which makes it nice and easy because if you're anything like me, converting time zones sucks. Hope you enjoy the VOD and we will see you hopefully live next time in chat. Live, this chat, Twitch, stream. I need to sleep. Goodbye. Hi. Welcome back, everybody. Okay, this might m cause a noise. Did it? Did not. Brilliant. Okay. Ah, uh, hi. How is everybody? Welcome back. Uh, you might notice that this looks a little bit different. Um, there's a new event in Stream Raiders. There's a bunch of events, and of course, because I've been in bed for most of the last week, I didn't know anything about any of it. Um, so we have a Pixel Shogunate, or Shogunate, I'm actually not sure how you're meant to pronounce this. Uh, it's a new event. It's going for, oh, it's behind the camera, but uh, it says ends in 24 days, 11 hours, so it's a while, uh, a few weeks. Uh, and it's all kind of... Uh, Japanese themed. Ah, uh, no, wrong button. Where's the- no, no, this one. Ah, uh, but actually, that helps too. So, you've got skins that you can unlock via gifting skins to other people. Um, you've got- there's five teams that the captains have been split into, uh, and I have been placed on Endless Lovers. I don't know, it's a random assignment thing. Uh, at least it was the last couple times I've had teams for thingamajig. Maybe there was like a reserve your team here thing and I totally missed it, but it's probably random assignment. Um, you get onigiri as your as your your currency for this one and then you buy the chests with it. Um, obviously they've got a couple of fun special bits and bobs. I think it's the same one in all of them, yes. Um, but depending on which one is opened, that team gets more points. Um, so as you can see, red is winning, rightfully so, uh, followed closely by pink, which I honestly was not anticipating, but I don't know, maybe the pink ones look cool. All the skins that you can unlock when the teams win, they're the same, the same skin, it's just that this one has red accents, this one has pink, this one has blue, etc, etc. So, um, the, and the pink ones do look kind of funky. I'll drop a link in chat for the event. There's the link. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll see like the five teams there. Then you'll have the five teams on like how much Onigiri has been spent, I think, or how many wins, I don't know. Um, and then which, in which case uh, the pink team is in third. And then you've got the clan skins. So there's a warrior, there's a flag bearer, there's a vampire and an orc slayer. And you can see like it rotates through. It's like a gif, it rotates through all of the different um, colors. Uh, and then, of course, you've got your Battle Pass skins and get skin gifting skins, and then the three skins you can get from loyalty chests. Uh, and that's the website I have linked. On top of that, speaking of gifting skins, you guys might remember when we unlocked the Shadow Burb, which was a black phoenix with the red glowy around the outside for the Shadow Variant weekend. Apparently, I totally missed this. Uh, we're halfway through another mini-thon. Uh, a spring mini-thon. Uh, this one, if we get ten, uh, 100 spring variant points, that means that skins are purchased, my skins, specifically Fiamma skins, are purchased during this little window of time, which finishes on the 31st of March PT, I don't know what time, um, then we will unlock a spring variant recolor of any of my full skins. Um, so the full skins are the ones up the top there, you can see, so we've got the, the Ashes skin, the Flying Rogue, and then you've got the black and red one. That was our Shadow variant. So if we do this thing, then we could potentially unlock a green sheep that glows pink, 
or something like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, something like that. So one of the, one of the, any one of them. It could be another bird. Uh, if people really want to have, like, all of these bird skins and you can only use one at a time. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so that's, um, that's, that's stream raiders at the moment. There's, there's a whole lot. Um, so for the, the spring variant points, uh, a head skin, which costs five US, um, yes, five US dollars is one point, I believe. From memory and then a uh, any of the full skins uh, and the flag bearer skins also count as head skins uh, any of the full skins count as two points and I get a 50% revenue share of anything purchased that has my name on it um, yeah so 50% revenue share doesn't mean I get exactly 50% of it they take out the cost like any transaction fees and stuff that might be charged by banks and whatnot and then what's left they give me half of it uh, so I actually, it's a pretty good deal, honestly, uh, considering that all I do is send them reference art and they say, yes, I like that, that skin. Good, go for it. And then they do all of the other stuff on the side. They handle all the payments and, and all that kind of stuff. Getting a, a half revenue share is damn good, which is why I play Stream Readers, because, not because of the money, but, <laughs> but because they actually do uh, care a whole lot about their affiliates and their partners. Um, there are so many opportunities that we get through them, not many of which I've actually applied for, just because we don't, this is very much a side game for us. Maybe I should not do that in future, maybe I should actually start planning things around Stream Raiders a bit more. Um, but uh, yeah, they, they have sales every so often and they take the sale, like the, the discount out of their cut rather than out of our cut and things like that, which is just really, really super awesome. Uh, really great of them. Um, so yeah, if that's something that interests you, now's the time to do it. Um, we're gonna go ahead for that token chest and then that skin chest, so I'm gonna hit this one and start that up. God, have you ever, like, so if you've ever felt like you've had something stuck in your teeth, just something little that's there and you can feel it and you know it's there, but then, like, I go to try to get it out with my tongue, like I go to kinda, uh, and it stitches. I can't get them out. If I try to get them out, it will hurt, and it will also hamper my recovery severely. <laughs> it is the most, like we were having a conversation, was it yesterday? There was, I can't remember who it was, but someone was saying that they had uh, wisdom tooth uh, removal and the stitches from that were poking them and hurting them. Mine have been there long enough that they're kind of soggy now. Uh, and they're starting the whole process of beginning to dissolve because they're dissolvable stitches so you don't have to get them cut out of your mouth because it's horrendous. Um, so they just kind of dissolve away and, and that's it. Uh, or you, you kind of go, oh, what's that? Oh, and it's you've spat out stitches because it's disintegrated at the gum line. But the, the worst bit is realizing, oh, the stitches is gone. Oh, I didn't spit them out. You realize you swallowed them. It's great. Um, <laughs> Place your units, please, oh god, please. Uh, we need more more friends on the battlefield in order to win uh, the first round. But yeah, so um, that's how I'm doing. Constantly have something stuck in my teeth, but cannot remove it because it's part of the healing process. Uh, but I had my surgeon's appointment this morning. I um, was talking about that a little bit yesterday. Uh, oh, shit, my button's not going to work. <laughs> Give me a second. You are a... not ah, Marini, thank you so much for the raid. Kicking off with a bang. I hope you've had a fantastic day. A wonderful stream. How are you? That's not how you spell games. Good. Um, gosh, that hurts. Um, all right. Oh. I've been there. Are, I've been racking up the referral orders for Bubble Tea Club lately. Have you? Have you all just missed me that much that you're like, I need Bubble Tea to like fill the fear-shaped void in my life? I, this is great. I'm I'm loving this. But I just like, I'm getting a couple emails a day, which is more than usual, and I'm I'm proud of you guys. I hope you all enjoy it. I hope you all find it delightful and delicious. Uh, anyway, good. Is this gonna work now? Thank God for that. All right, I changed it to Chef Squad, and did I change it back? No. Uh, and then I have another button to push, which is... Shit, which one is it, actually? Right. It's this one. Because I forgot to do this last week, because I was still on painkillers and probably just slightly high. So you've got one day. One singular day to fulfill this goal. Um, so if you would like to see a Dark Moon Festival 
all the things extravaganza next month. You must chip in today. Today. Have fun with that. Um, good. What am I doing on this tune? Where is... Storm's Wake. Alrighty. Um... Um, I'm squat. But yes, uh, so saw the saw the surgeon, um, and he confirmed he took a, a look um, at my ulcers that are still there. Um, they're healing, but they are still there. They still kind of hurt, but a hell of a lot better than they were. A hell of a lot better. And he said basically it they are textbook anesthesia ulcers. So um, when you get anesthesia, um, depending on what you're actually having done, sometimes they'll put like a tube down your throat, like through your mouth. Sometimes they'll do it down through your nose, all this kind of stuff. Um, and what they'll often have to do is use a laryngoscope, which is those really big, scary, medieval looking devices of a big chunky handle and then like a, a curve, like a shoehorn thing on it. And basically they put that down your throat to hold your tongue out the way. Because if you're lying down, everything just kind of falls backwards in your, in your mouth and in your throat and everything, right? So they stick that down there and kind of hold your back so that they can see what they're doing in, in the back of your throat and stuff, which is fine. I was totally out for all of that. Um, I, all, I, did, I didn't even know that they'd actually used that. Um, I knew that they do in other things, but I didn't know that that was something that they used for both of my surgeries. <laughs> Terrifying. But um, yeah, so that's the thing that they did. Um, and if, if you're, like, there are a whole bunch of different reasons it could happen, um, but sometimes you get a bit of trauma. It, like your your tissues suffer some trauma because uh, the way that the surgeon explained it is that because it's a mucosal membrane it's it's like skin but it's not keratinized so your skin is tough your, your skin is like that's bruised i probably shouldn't be doing that uh, i've still got a cannula bruise because fuck my body um but yeah so because your skin is like super keratinized and tough and withstands like like trauma and stuff if you try to do that against a mucous membrane you're gonna tear it to hell um, so you got to be super gentle with it and stuff, and they were, but sometimes it's just not enough. Sometimes the the tissue would be like, hey, uh, and get inflamed and, and angry and unhappy with whatever you've done with it. And that's what my throat has done. Um, he said it's basically like it's textbook ulcers you've got to the side, to the side, and to the top. Like, if we, if we could see further down your throat, you'd probably have some on the very back of your tongue. Um, it's just that's where that's where the laryngoscopes hit. And I'm like, cool! So, yeah, there's, there's nothing that they can do. It's not an infection, which is exactly what I wanted to hear because I'm very susceptible to infections because of my autoimmune condition. It sucks. Um, but it's not something that they can treat with antibiotics. Um, it's not something that they can do anything with, really. All I have to do is be kind to it. Um, and, and like, treat the symptoms, which is pain. So, uh, antiseptic strepsils, like, sorry, anesthetic strepsils, although the ones I have are both antiseptic and anesthetic, which is why I think I'm getting them confused. They taste like ass! Uh, the purple ones, they're disgusting. Uh, but, and they make everything taste horrendous for several hours afterwards, but they do the job. Um, they've, they've, like, because it's not all the way at the back of my throat, it's doing enough to kind of help what's going on, which is really nice. Um, and then just having cold foods and, and stuff like that. And also deep throating Q-tips covered in Bongella. Literally, I uh, like stick out the tongue, grab the grab the, uh, the iPhone and shine the torch down my throat and then like paint the ulcers with a Q-tip with, um, with Bongella, which has like, awkward as hell but it has done a phenomenal job a phenomenal job so um yeah that's uh, a new skill that i have acquired um but yeah so we're we're all good oh and the implant placement perfection another textbook example of of how to get it done and everything the angle is fantastic the distance from all my other teeth is exactly what it should be everything is perfection so i'm very, very happy. Um, and I think that my my regular dentist did a wonderful job in recommending me to this particular surgeon. Look, it was expensive, but goddamn, I got it done right. So yeah, now I, I have an appointment for four months, four months away, um, to do a talk test. 
Uh, as I've said a couple of times before, it's not a talk as in what I do all the time. Uh, it's talk like 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 physics, T O R Q U E, uh, which, from what I understand, is basically a test to make sure that the implant has healed in properly and will be able to sustain the forces of chewing and stuff like that. Because at the moment, nothing really hits it. It's not it's not something that's used for incising or crushing or anything. Nothing really touches it that much. Um, it's just kind of there. So they need to make sure that the, the implant will sustain, like the actual bit itself will, will sustain that kind of force. Uh, and once he's happy with that, he'll send me back to my dentist and they'll pop a crown on it. And I'll be done. Holy cow. So that's that's four months away. So I've got the appointment towards the end of July uh, is, is when it's booked in. for. It's all booked in. Solid. Done. Um, so if I can get that done at the end of July and then I'll probably have a few weeks wait until I can get in to see my regular dentist uh, and then she'll do whatever she needs to do for the crown and stuff. Although I'm not sure where the, the aligners, like the... In, the, the um, Invisalign fits in because I've done everything up the top is done. That's just waiting for the crown and now this one I'm waiting for the torque test, but I don't The top one can't have the crown on it until they can fit like they can get in there and that's the part I don't remember I, I can't remember where amongst all these steps the uh, the Invisalign fits so um, That's something I've got to call her and figure out um, But that's on the to-do list uh, I figure I've got enough other shit to get done this week. I've got a psych appointment. I've got a rheumatology appointment. <laughs> Speaking of which, I've got to get bloods done tomorrow morning. So, like, hydrate me. Go. Uh, <laughs> I have unleashed hell upon myself, haven't I? Good. Uh, but yes, I'm, I'm in a good mood today. I've been exhausted all day. I napped. I'm dead. But I'm in a good mood. How are you? How are all of you? Talk to me while I catch up on chat. Well done, Zam on first. You are in trouble. You are in trouble, my dear. And you know why. It's okay, you're not actually in trouble. I just think it's really funny that there are like, it's the meme and people don't understand it's a meme and they're just kind of like, what? There is a reason no one thinks I actually play a paladin. <laughs> well done. Lady Chaos on Thrid and for- no, come on now, don't take more than one. That's cheeky. Let people- let other people- come on. Let other people grab I'm their stuff. Uh... Correct. Cool. Correct. Um... Uh, hello Mercer, hello Nurse. Yeah, I am feeling much better today, thank you. I hope you can say the same. Uh, it's Afia. It is Afia. Hello. Hey Tony, how you doing? How's the recovery going? <laughs> Refer previous statement. I hope I covered all your... If you've got any further questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Uh, <laughs> corporate fear, engage. Um, uh, how are you feeling today? Again, if you have any further questions, <laughs> let me know. Um, I would just kind of assume that people asking how I'm going have heard the rant and if they do have any questions that they will ask separately. Um, of course, you know, if, if I'm not comfortable answering, I won't, as always. Um, but you're always free to ask. I can just say no. Uh, you play for the fun and chance to expand the game. I do. I do. Stream Raiders is great fun. Like, like really good fun. And, like, the fact that... They, I mean, of course, you know, any business... Oh, I'm supposed to... Let's see. Um, any business needs to make money. It is, you know, they have people they need to pay. Um, so they need to make money, but I think that the way they've gone about making that money is is quite good. Like they're not um, it's it's not exploitative of influencers and stuff like that because there are our content creators and whatnot. Um, because there are a lot of things out there that are quite exploitative of creators. Um, in that, like you, they get the. They, the, like, the influencer has to do, like, a lot of work to get very little out of it and stuff. Like, like it can be quite a bit, but I do, like, the stream readers method of, like, doing that stuff. I, I quite like it, and, um, I would, I would play more games like that if it didn't kind of... 
the the issue is you kind of you got to kind of stick your flag to one or two posts and go with it, because if you if your entire stream kind of becomes this thing that just cycles through all these games that are designed to make the creator money, it starts to feel a little bit questionable if that makes at least in, in at least in my experience if it was like hey so we're gonna play some stuff for stream raiders and now we're gonna cycle over to game number two where you can purchase this kind of skin or this kind of ability and if you purchase anything that has fear armor on it i get a cut cool make sure you do that with this game and on to game number three remember that you can always purchase this from, do you know what i mean like it it just it gets to be a little bit much um and there are look there are creators out there who make bank yuri Hello, love, thank you so much for your resub. Are we playing Mario on Wednesday still? I realized today I was like, oh fuck, we haven't planned anything, shit. Are you still, are you both still up for that? Thank you so much for the resub. Um, but yeah, like it's, uh, there are, there are definitely some, like uh, some channels out there that do, do a fantastic job of really like monetizing the shit out of themselves and it's done really beautifully well. I just don't think I have the flow to be able to do that just yet. I, I I feel less like a business and more like a person. So if I tried to jump real into like money making extravaganza, it, it yeah I mm, mm, which is why I've been trying to take advantage of some uh, some deals on the back end, which has fallen flat of late because of all the shit that's been going on in my life. But uh, look, we'll see. Actually, that is something I've been meaning to ask you guys. Um, does anyone have suggestions or like preferences on what they would purchase for themselves if they were buying a laptop? Um, I don't need anything with super duper bells and whistles. This is not like, I'm not looking for a streaming laptop. Specifically, I'm not looking for a streaming laptop. If if it is something that I can plug shit into to make, I don't know, do external, I know external hard drives, do external graphic cards exist? I'm sure they do by now. But I'm not really looking for something to stream with. What I would really love to be able to do, because everything I do for stream is here. I stream, I, I social media, well, I usually try to social media. I do my emails, all that kind of stuff. If I'm doing, making graphics and stuff like that, everything is done here um if i'm working my day job it's here if i'm doing stuff in my leisure time usually if i have any leisure time it's video games where do you think i play video games here <laughs> so i've i've realized i'm going a little bit insane i would like to get out of the house and one of the things i think would really really help is an ability to pick my ass up, take it down to a cafe somewhere, and sit down, order myself a chai, love my chais, order myself a chai, and do my, do my content, like, do, plan some social media stuff, or, or, like, respond to some emails and stuff like that, but sit down in the outside, in the air, in the sunshine, and get some stuff done, just to try, like, get some fresh air. Hey, I can, I can walk somewhere like half an hour away. That's my exercise. Like, do you know what I mean? Like it's, I would very much like to be able to get the hell out of my house. So if anyone has any recommendations on what I should be looking for, this is something I'm really not good with. Like I can build a PC. I can build it from scratch. I fucking love building my own PCs. Love that shit. Um, but I would really, I, I'm not great at actually like picking parts and knowing what's good and what's like worth its what, worth its price. That's the thing. I could go and I could put some some cash together and, and buy a, a oh god, a two thousand dollar fucking laptop. Wasn't I'm not gonna be able to buy a two thousand dollar laptop. Uh, that is not within the budget. But I could save up for that if I know it's coming. I can I can save up and that'll be enough to get me excited. Um, but. If it's only worth 350, that I'm wasting money, right? So I don't know how to figure that stuff out. I'm not great at that. So if you guys have any recommendations, anything you really like, anything you've used yourself, anything your workplace has provided for you, if that's something that if you're in a workplace where you've been told to work from home and provided with a laptop because they don't know your gamers, like <laughs> I, I would be more than happy to, to hear out some suggestions. Because, uh, I, I need to get out of my house. I, I need to get out. Like, 
during during like when we were flooded and had no power and stuff going for a walk every day and just exploring and seeing what had changed as horrible and as morbid as that is it's so good to get out of the house and i would like to continue that but i can't because i'm so far behind on everything i can't just go out and sit somewhere for half an hour without it being productive anyway uh something to talk about uh, wisdom teeth. No, uh, I had a tooth that had a failed root canal like four or five times. I can't remember how many times it failed. Um, so I ended up having to have a complex extraction, bone graft put in, and then a week ago today, I had surgery to put an implant in. So not wisdom tooth, but, um, still dental though. Yes, still, de still dental. Uh, no more question. You just answered it. Fantastic, main raid. Got mythic Livian done. Ah, oh, well done, Marita. Congratulations. Well done. How stream so far? Uh, 31 minutes and mostly just me ranting and paying no attention to anything. So great. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you had a fantastic day and welcome to anyone from Meridi Stream who is still here and has not left because I just do nothing but blab. Um, I'm Fia. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. I'm not going to lie to you and tell you it's not normally like this. It totally is normally like this. I just rant. It's, we call them Fia talks because I do them so often and it's sometimes they're kind of like a TED talk. So like Fia, yep, yeah, you get it. Um, so... Yeah, but it's fun. It's fun. And we all learn so much. <laughs> oh, look at all these contributions. Can you imagine actually hearing the tissues in your throat just randomly go, hey, like that. Look. I, they, I probably wouldn't be able to hear them over my own talking. Let us be honest. Let us be honest. Uh, butthurt, I realize that your name is literally butthurt, but does that make everything about us? Uh, or are you just being a troll? Uh, 50 pulls it on. Yeah, look. I didn't, look, I didn't want to make it too hard, because I know it's a one day thing, and I don't know how many people would actually rock up. So, because I've, you know, I've taken time off and all that kind of stuff, so I wanted to leave it, but look, hey, we're gonna have a one day challenge tomorrow as well, so maybe I'll have to bump it up. Maybe I'll have to bump it up for tomorrow. Greetings, Shiba. Hello. It's to see ya. I seem like you're doing a lot better today. Ulsa's doing better. Yes! Oh, look at that. Wait, what? How did it just got complete all of a sudden? What the hell just happened? Oh, I have to scroll down and figure it out. Um. Ah, uh, yeah, so the ulcers are still there. They still sting. They still hurt. But they're definitely in healing mode. Which is really good. Um, I'm probably gonna sound uh, super rough. Again, by the end of stream, but that's okay. As I usually do anyway. Oh, because the 50% was ages ago. Right, I gotcha. Right, so clearly I need to make it a lot higher tomorrow. Noted. Understood. I clearly underestimated. When it said 15 people will need to contribute the max, I vastly underestimated how many people we would need. Good. Good. Mm, how many achievement points you got? Uh, lots. Uh, it says 32,500, but um, I'm on an alliance tune, so I don't know how many I've got on Horde side. It's a few though. Uh, I, may, I main Horde, so that's that's why that is pertinent information. I uh, literally asked for it. What did I do? You know what you did. Um, just by being a key painter, that's not helps. I wonder what it type for. It literally tags you, Chaos. It literally says your name in the response message. <laughs> That's why I changed it so people could see who got it without me having to, like, tell them and shit. Ah, uh, hello, Panda. Uh, I answered it all of those. Go look at the first 20 minutes of the pod. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much, right? I'm not putting my fucking shoe on my head. Also, you can have one of these. I get behind on chat because I respond to each and every individual message. If that's not the kind of personal interaction you want, you can fuck off. Um... Too bad, just find a bit of anima. Brilliant. Wonderful, we are both touch wood healthy at the moment. Good. Good, good. Alright. Wonderful. Uh, Jas will likely not get home until, like, hour and a half, two hours into stream. So, either we play three player for a bit with an AI and like team up to whoop the AI's butt repeatedly, um, or we, we figure something else. 
Either or. I'm not, I'm not, a uh, not too fast. Uh, Rivendell's Mount, congratulations, Panda. Well done. Well done. And Zam has won the free-for-all. And Zam, with his singular coin, and Draz, have taken out Nomi. Well done. Well done. Literally screamed. Oh god, yes. I, I do not remember. I'm pretty sure there's probably a clip of it. But I imagine I did the same thing. Yay, insanity, but also a little panic. Yep. Afternoon. Hello, dude. Sunny better today. I hope you're feeling better. I am. I'm still, I'm, I'm just, I'm so goddamn tired. So unbelievably, ridiculously goddamn tired. But I'm, um, I'm, I'm getting there. Uh, I have, uh, psych and rheumatology this week. Um, so I'm, I'm going to be touching base with my rheumatologist about, like, why I'm feeling like trash and then there's a potential for like if I'm still here if I'm still feeling like this a couple weeks I know I'm in recovery I get that like I had con surgery for god's sake um but if I'm still feeling like this a few weeks from now uh I'm thinking I might just head to the GP and be like oi test me for all the things please like can I has a blood panel because something's not right like <laughs> something's not right I I know I know I'm like I I'm not I'm 32 I'm not young but I'm not old. I, I should not be feeling the way that I am feeling. This is not, this is not normal. This is not health. This is, yeah. Brilliant. Good. Um, yeah, so look, we'll, we'll see how we're going a few weeks. Like I'll give myself a couple weeks to, to recover <laughs> and to like get back to, to normal and, and all that kind of stuff. And if I'm still just feeling super out of it, then uh, yeah, it'll be GP, GP time. Excellent job, Got those things take forever to die. Up we go. Uh, the outside. I know, right, Meaty? I know. Who am I and what have I done with fear? But yeah, like honestly, um, fresh air and a bit of sunshine always, always makes me feel better. Uh, which, yeah, if, if I'm, if my body is so desperate that like a 10 minute walk can make me feel better. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I. Maybe I need some more uh, outside time. But uh. Yeah. Uh. My MacBook. Those of us is not gonna say spend for get. I'm not getting a MacBook. I'm not getting an Apple laptop. Absolutely not. Um. It's yeah. It's just not happening. They're overpriced as sin. And um. If anything can possibly get an external graphics card, uh, it will. It will not be a Mac. Um, no. No thank you. Um... It will be a Windows based product. Uh, do you want small and portable? Um, preferably yes. Not too small. Um, like I would like to be able to have two windows open at the same time. Obviously not two screens. I'm not gonna lug a screen down to a cafe with me. Um, but if I smack two windows up against each side of the screen so I can see two things that I'm working on at once, I would like it to not completely screw up what I'm looking at. Does that, I hope that makes sense. You, uh, if you don't know, if you have a Windows computer and you grab the, the, the top, the handle of a window and you click it and you drag it and you bank, you, you like you smack it up against the side, not, not the gap in the middle of your screens, but like one side of one or the other side of the other, it will automatically make it fill exactly half of the screen. And then all of your other windows will get tiled in the other half so you can pick another one so it'll put both of them perfectly half and half on your screen. Uh, I've been doing it since I was in, like, what, eh, either uni or end of high school, I don't remember which. Um, I think it might have been uni, because that was when I had my first laptop and I needed to be able to see shit. Um, but... Uh, much recommend that little trick, uh, especially for like working, like at work and shit. Oh god, it saved my life so many times. Having like literally four things open at once on my two screens so I can like cross-reference data and shit. Ah, oh, it's amazing! Um, but yeah, so if I can bash two things to either side of the screen and it's still good and legible, then I'm fine with that. That's totally okay. Um, so not ridiculously small, but I don't need like a 52-inch laptop either. Don't even tell me they don't make those because God, with the fucking ridiculous curved uh, fucking screens that come out like this far, I would not put it past anybody making a fucking 52 inch laptop. People are idiots. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> better than the other day. More, more yourself. I feel more myself in you. Thank you. 
Um, yeah, definitely, definitely feeling a hell of a lot better than I have been. Oh, I thought, I thought I might actually get the rep there with that one, but I didn't. But it's okay, I got an axe, which is not actually a, a new appearance, because it should have just ticked off everything now. That's fine. Oh well. Um, am I actually gonna get... Oh, there's Order of Ember. It's in Order of Ember's one as well. Fantastic. I think I'll go up there and do this one next. Um... Something like this is why we're here, really. Look, I'm I'm definitely a a type of streamer. Um, <laughs> take that. Yeah, apparently so. Oh, good lord. Right, noted, noted. Um, so about seven p.m. ish for us. So six p.m. for you is due home. Yeah, usually somewhere around that or a bit earlier. So somewhere between five thirty and six, depending on like traffic and shit like that. Um, is usually when he gets home. But, uh, yes. Uh, see, when winter comes, I mean, it's winter somewhere. It's winter somewhere. First case, sounds like he set up when he's home. Do I have something with your hand? Uh, yeah, I can do that. I can totally do that. Um, I will never run out of shit to do, so I'll find something. <clears throat> TT for health? Look, I would, yeah, probably. That's probably a good idea. But yeah, no, it's, um, I'm just, you know, I keep saying, you know, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired, but like, I, it's beyond now. It's just, this is ridiculous. Um, what I would really like to do is get a couple of weeks worth of, like, now that I've got the shiny Fitbit, um, I can get a couple of weeks worth of, like, uh, step starter and I can log my food and I can log all the bits and pieces and then just take all of that to a doctor and be like this is like this is everything I'm doing and yet here is the laundry list of everything that is wrong with my body WTF please like <laughs> and just let's just try to figure out what the hell is wrong with me if it's seven different things that's fine just tell me what they are Tell me how to fix them. I have no doubt that, like, a bunch of it's comorbidities from the autoimmune and stuff like that, but... <laughs> Ugh. You know. Just at least tell me. And let's see if there's something we can do to fix it. Um... So if she gives me a little something in your What?! Aw, oh, dupe! Thank you so much. I have had issues with, I haven't gotten any notifications for my PO box in a while now. Like I'm talking months and months and months. Um, so I should be getting an email when something drops in there, but it just hasn't been. So if you have popped tracking on that, um, if you haven't, totally okay. But if you have and you get a notification that, um, that it has arrived, uh, feel free to let either me or Jas know. Jas will be the one picking it up because he's got the key. <laughs> um, but because he's got the car and it just, it's easier. Um, but yeah, that way. And I'll, I'll, if, if you're cool with being, it being cracked open on stream, otherwise let us know and I can definitely not up to you, up to you. Speaking of which, I do have a, uh, a package here, um, but I'm waiting because I know who it's from. So I'm, I'm waiting on opening that. I've had it here since Friday, I want to say. Uh, you're old enough to be awesome. I feel like anyone's old enough to be awesome, Mercer, but thank you very much. I appreciate the sentiment. I appreciate that. Uh, Loza, Zam, Little Fade, Rallo, Drazmiti, and Dan, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Uh, Okie dokie. Onward. Um, hello Seeker. 100% more sparkly today than when I last saw you. Very glad to see it. Thank you. Me too. I had, oh wrong key. I had a nap today because I was feeling like trash. Um, also our, our kettle went kablamo. Um, it didn't explode. It didn't explode. Um, but it like, I don't know what happened. I just, I went out into the kitchen at one point during the day and noticed that the light was on in the back because it's got one of those clear switches and when you put it down, the switch lights up to let you know that it's on and it was on. But there was no water in there 
and it, and I'm like, so I don't I don't know how that happened, but it had happened, and I'm like I because mm, it was the the whole thing was warm. It wasn't melting or burning or anything like that. But the, it was warm, and I was just like, this is not good. You're not supposed to use the kettle with nothing in it. Um, so I'm, I turned it off, obviously, and unplugged it, and let Jas know that it had happened, and he went, oh shit, I'm, I must have knocked it when I was cleaning or something, and I'm like, look, maybe, I don't, I don't know, um, but, mm, maybe just be super hella careful if you, like, next time you use it, like, watch it and listen to it and just keep an eye on it and just see, uh, and the next time we went to use it, he said it was making all sorts of interesting crackling noises, so he turned it off. <laughs> um, so we got rid of the kettle. Uh, <laughs> um, and so we hadn't had a kettle for a few days, and I was like, you know what, I want tea. And then I went to the kitchen, I was like, oh shit, we don't have a kettle. Oh fuck. Um, so I went down to Woolies and bought one, because I'm like, fuck it. And when I was there, I bought a bottle of Coke. Which I shouldn't have done, but I did. Uh, and then I got home, and I did not have tea. I had a bottle of Coke instead. It was vanilla Coke, it was delicious. Uh, and I feel so much more energized now, um, because I don't drink anything really with caffeine. A lot of the teas I drink even are caffeine free. Um, so <laughs> I don't, yeah, when I, when I have like a bottle of Coke or something, it, it doesn't, I don't go batty. Um, but I also, it definitely kind of, you, you know, yeah. So I think that's what's kind of helped me get through the, oh, for fuck's sake. I think that has helped me get through the, um, the block. Um, at least for today. I'm sure tomorrow will probably feel like shit again. Uh, but tomorrow I'll be working. My, my first day back at work after everything. So, um, fingers crossed I will... I'll just make lots of tea. <laughs> um, means you're covering well and feeling much improved. There you go. <laughs> uh, question answered, I hope. But, um, yeah, I'm definitely... I'm definitely feeling far more like I should be here. Um, my laptop, I just got myself a Logitech Bluetooth keyboard with my Android tablet. Ah, oh, what I bought it was like, oh, if only Logitech gave fear code. Yeah. I, I am going to get one, we just don't know when. There is there is no answer on that, unfortunately. Uh, I love to just carry desktop in a cafe you want, like a normal person. Have you seen how big my... I haven't, uh, it's the, I think my case model is in... The panels, isn't it? I th I'm pretty sure I put it in there because someone was asking and I'm like, I don't know, I should probably put that down below. It's in Nor- it's hard. I could fit inside it if I really tried. It is fucking huge. It is not a, a little micro case that people like put on their desks. It's um... Like I have to, to, to move it, I kind of have to like get low and brace my heels on the ground and grab it at very particular parts on the front and just kind of lean back with my body weight until it shifts. Like it's a big case. It's beautiful, but it's a big case. It's uh, no, I'm unfortunately unable to take that with me to my local cafe. Um, <laughs> it will not run off a battery pack, unfortunately. Um, uh, Sending here to being able to organize windows for my study. Yes. Is there a new goal for this week? Uh, we did. I apparently set the points too low. Um, I missed the goal last week, so we had a, d a single day goal for today, and then we're gonna have a single day goal for Wednesday. And the goal is gone. <laughs> it happened in the first kind of half hour. I set that way too low. Uh, here's our on embers thingy. Uh, she thought thirty k needs to say it was bash out of the park. It was. I did an oopsie. It's fine. I've learned my lesson. I didn't want to do because if I'd done it per like what my my weekly goal because my weekly goals are usually two fifty right so it would have set the day like daily goal at like 60, 62 and a half that kind of thing. Um, but I thought, look, I don't know how many people are going to be here because it is, you know, like it's, I've had a few wonky streams lately and all that kind of stuff and it's been time off and blah, blah, blah. So I didn't know, like I wanted to make it achievable. I made it too achievable. So you bet your asses tomorrow it's going to be 65. 
Ah, deets, right, of course. This is the top. Yes, it is still there. Um, but yeah, if you're on mobile, it might be a little bit funky. You're 100% healthy. You're being nerfed because you're too powerful. I am... I like this. That's... Yep. Good. It's exactly what's happening. Thank you, see. Uh, you're not Seeker. You're Sheba. Thank you, Sheba. <laughs> Oh god. Oh look, Fee is entirely healthy. What what do you mean you haven't slept in three weeks? Oh shit. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, can you imagine? Oh, it'd be beautiful. Hello, Rello. Welcome back. Enough for the rest of us, poor folks. Of the sea, but that must be it also gives me more shit to talk about it. The Tortolans in keeping it safe god. And mm. If you weren't here a very start of stream. I was talking about how if you if you've ever felt like in the hands of elders. Uh, if you've ever felt like you've had something caught in your teeth, and then you kind of like I'm I've got something caught in my teeth, but then I go to like poke it, oh, it's my stitches, so I can't. Yeah, and all the poking is making it actually kind of sore, so I should probably stop doing that. But I can't help myself. That one only turned back half- look! It only turned back around halfway! <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Uh... New kettle on throne. Oh no, I am way too I need kettle for bubble tea. Um, I mean, technically not. You can boil water on a stove, but fuck that. No, thank you. I'm good. Oh, your face. Green Karaji battle tank. No, but that's the first guess for the day. I do have mount makeup on. Hello. Um, so we have green on my lids. We have red. Um, it's, it's kind of a pinky sort of red, but it's red. Um, up, up top, like in the crease and all that kind of stuff. And I tried to do like an actual proper eyeshadow shape that would suit my eyes rather than just being like, get the color on there so people can see. So it is a little bit kind of blenderated, but it's there. Uh, and then under here is kind of like uh, an, I think the shade is called orange brown. It is quite orange, um, but it's also not like, not like, 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 like the kind, not this kind of orange, it's kind of like a, an orangey brown sort of shade, but that's like on the, the outer corner here as well and then like blended in underneath. So yeah, orange, red and green are the colours you are looking for. And I've tried to sort of get them into the right places that they kind of sort of should be. I don't think the proportions are right, but I've tried to at least get them into the right sort of places, if that helps at all. Good thing it didn't melt down, happened to me once was not great. Oh, I can only imagine. Like, good lord, that would have been horrific. Um, but yeah, so it didn't it didn't do that. But I, I do now have a new kettle for the outrageous price of $12. I'm a tight ass, what can I say? Um, but yeah, it's just a stock standard, like a white plastic thing from Woolies. Um, it'll do the job. That's all, it's, I don't need a fancy thing that has a bunch of functions. I need to be able to fill it with water, turn it on. And when it goes click, have the water be boiled and ready for tea. That's, that's literally it. So I'm happy. $12 is more than enough for me. Uh, I think the one I had prior was a $5 investment from Kmart when I uh, first kind of had to start purchasing things for my own apartment. But yeah, look, it's a... Uh, it'll do what it needs to do. Like, look, maybe, maybe one day... I'll have like a kitchen that is like coordinates, like, you know, like color coordinated and all that kind of, you know, you get all the appliances that are silver and red or whatever, but more than likely it's probably just going to be, look, I have a black bench top, white appliances and red tea towels. Cause that's a hell of a lot cheaper. <laughs> I look, I'm, I'm all about that budget, baby. All about that budget. Um, I feel like I need a Coke now. Look, it, <sighs> It has that effect on me because I don't do a whole lot of, like, I don't, I have not had an energy drink in literally years. Um, there was a good couple of years there where I had no soda whatsoever. 
Um, I still had a bit of tea here and there, and I mean, I still do have some tea, but most of them are non-caffeinated, so when I have Coke, it really picks my ass up off the floor. So I need to kind of make sure that I don't rely on that. What I need to do is find the teas that I have that have caffeine in them and like set them to the side so that I know if I need something to pick me up, I can have tea. Um, rather than becoming reliant on sugar-filled vanilla Coke. <laughs> Cause, uh, mm. Yeah, we all know what Coke does to teeth. Really should not have had Coke, especially recovering from dental surgery. Do not do what I do. Be better. Be better than me. Yeah, has the zoomies. Oh, I, I absolutely do not have the zoomies. I am awake enough that I can be entertaining on stream. That's it. Like, I, I'm not even kidding. Like, that is, like, it picks me up enough to do this kind of shit, but once stream is over, I'm gonna, like, die. <laughs> Promise. Uh, I can be I can set all shenanigans with the laptop soon. Yes! It's like Jarrah's why it named it Beastie. Oh my god. Uh, repackage doesn't need to be open stream. Definitely feel free to show off something. Said you would want in passing. Still in the early stages of planning. Oh, okay. Ooh. Now you got me thinking. Ah, uh, C2FK might last an hour. Maybe. Maybe. Depends on how many people are here at the start. Let me see me and Charlie would watch better. Stream Raiders, yes. You know you can play Stream Raiders on your phone, by the way. They've got a, they've got like a mobile version. Not, not like an app, but I think it's through their website. I think. Um, but yeah, you can. It's. Yeah. Uh, Green Wind Rider. No, Ahmed Rizashi. Uh, blah. Let's try that again. Ahmed Rizashi Raptor. Yes. It is, in fact, the Ahmed Rizashi Raptor. Number from you. Dear Sheebs, uh, I'll grab this for people who haven't seen it before. There you go. And then... Stinkies will giveaways. Um, hello Poo, how are you going? Um, Heartbound Lupine is one of my players, actually. It just has a swimming animation. It does. We were fly when I when I unlocked it, uh, we were flying around ZM. It was hilarious. So cute. Scouts are reporting a new threat. So cute. Kill it before it becomes a bigger problem. But indeed, we just went. I like to budget, budget. I like to budget, budget. Look, I'm not against this. I'm not against this at all. All the Red Bull. How is? Look, I did. I had Red Bull, but I was more into um. Uh, Mother, when they had the new formula. It was what I would drink when I was working the longer shifts and stuff like that. Um, and then when I changed jobs, they had Mountain Dew energized in the vending machine. So days, like there were plenty of times that I would like forget breakfast because I just, I'm not a morning person in this life. There's a reason I do nighttime streams. Let's put it that way. Um, but I would do a can of Mountain Dew energized and uh, Twix. Call the breakfast of champions, because at least the Twix has biscuit in it, right? It's not just chocolate. It has it has non-sugar based carbs, so complex carbs. So <laughs> yeah, I was not a healthy person. Um, I still aren't. Um, uh, everything. Classic sixty nine, fantastic. Good morning, Crud. How you doing? Welcome back. Welcome back. Alrighty. Uh, I'll give give me a minute, Shiva. <laughs> uh, Twix breakfast champions. Yeah, exactly. That was well, Twix and a Mountain Dew energized, like a yep, energy soft drink. Cause yep. What's my favorite ashes? Oh, did I? Oh, I did too. Thank you for reminding me. Much appreciated. Um, community goal: get Fia to do a morning stream. This is this is the key to streaming. Never ever ever set a challenge that you are not willing to actually complete. 
There was a time that I was considering doing some morning streams, like some exercise streams, to try to keep me on track. Because, you know, if I do something on stream, I tend to be held accountable for it. Uh, like doing these dailies at least once a week, you know, and doing the world quest, sorry. Um, but I can't, there's no, I don't have the setup to be able to do it. I don't have the capability to do, a, like, a lounge room stream or anything at this point, so. Um, yes. Unfortunately, no thank you. And, uh, a morning stream. Look, I do, when I do my marathons, when I do my 12 hours, I start in the morning and that's about as close as you're gonna get. Um... Ah, well done! Wait, from Heroic? Do you mean from Heroic? HC usually means hardcore, so I was a little bit confused. You really are full of surprises. Um, <laughs> I need you to teach me a few. Uh, the game is called Eliza. Why does it still say? Chef Squad. I'm not playing Chef Squad. Ah, uh, I get it. My dashboard hadn't updated. Okay. Um. Sometimes the dashboard doesn't like update when you when it's meant to. So that's fun. For the alliance. Ah, uh, all right. I don't know if I actually get the right kind of rep from these, but I'm gonna try anyway. Mm. Twitch is on in the morning. Twitch is on 24-7. Twitch is on whenever streamers are on. And considering that it is, uh... Oh, okay. Considering that it is, um... A global thing. Yeah, someone's up everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't do that. The earlier I stream, the less of my day I actually get for productivity. And it's just like, if you've ever worked a shift job where you have a shift that runs from like 10 till 6 or like 11 till 7, you, you cannot do anything in the morning and then you cannot do anything at night. There's no time to do anything in the morning. There's no time to do anything at night. It's just bullshit. Um, so no, there's a very good reason I have my streams finish when they do. I finish stream, I get ready for bed. Um, it means that I have as much of my day as possible to get all the other shit I have to get done done. Um, I to watch. I better get Oh dear. Um, I gotcha. I mean, yeah, look. I don't know. Um. And now it says well, so... Um... Ah, uh, you've got an extra S in there, Cyber Dan. Uh, Cyber Cat Dan. The decisions, um... But, uh, look, it depends on whether you want nostalgia or speed. Like, that's literally, like, do, do you want nostalgia or speed? Me and Arrowhead. Yeah, I um look Brisbane doesn't have daylight savings, but Melbourne does. So eventually when I move back I will be susceptible to daylight savings. Um but not yet. Five PM to five AM shifts, yeah. Yeah, night shift rates were tasty, but um I also don't miss working a full-time job. I mean, obviously, I work the equivalent of full-time job and stuff, but it's, um... building out my own stuff, you know? It's it's not working to... There's a chance, you know, the, like, in a, in a regular job, the harder you work, the more chances you have at promotion, which means more money, but also more responsibilities and, and all that kind of stuff. Whereas, for me, I've got all the responsibilities that I want to have, and the harder I work, the more I get paid. The harder I work, the more uh, capability I have to reach out to brands, the more I'm building my own brand to hopefully eventually become something that's worth something to someone. Um, so yeah, it's um, 
it feels different to me personally. It's kind of, I, I kind of equate it to, and I know that not everyone is able to do that, obviously. I'm, I'm very grateful that I'm in the position that I'm in, uh, but it kind of feels to me sort of like renting versus buying a house. Um, if I'm renting, I'm paying off somebody else's mortgage. But if I'm, if I buy a house, I'm paying into my own asset. Um, but again, not every, I'm not able to do that. <laughs> not at the moment, uh, not for a long time. Uh, because a lot of places in Australia don't assess foreign income, and guess what Twitch is? So anywhere that I try to apply to, for a loan or whatever, they'll take one look at my part-time income, my, my day job, and be like, ha <laughs> ha, no. Um, so I need to build this up to the point that it's a proper ass business before they'll even consider it worth assessing. Um, we're going to pass the decision back in the savings. We are, we are just waiting on the West Coast USA states to also follow suits. We can be all on the same time still. So the Senate just recently people have decided to divide savings for So we have more time to change. Why were they waiting three ass years on a different... Like, the legislation that Canada passed, was it, we will obliterate daylight savings as long as the US does? In certain... Do you, like, what... Really? Is that what... That's the first time I've heard of non... Like... For, that's the first thing I've heard of uh, non-military wars. Only a being in effect once law changes elsewhere have gone into effect as well. That's really interesting. I mean, I'm sure it's because people work a whole lot with them and, and all that. So then, you know, for, for business purposes, it's more efficient if everyone's on the same time and all that. I, I, like, I get that. But was it actually written into the legislation that, that it would only take effect when another country voted in a completely separate law? Like, that's just, that's mind boggling. Um, decision made speedy. Good job. Good job. No promotion. Aw, dude, thank you. Yes! Instagram and all the socials. I have been very, very quiet lately. Very, very quiet. But I, I know that this, I know what this is going to sound like. I know what it's going to sound like, but I promise you, April 1st, <laughs> um, because I plan my socials like a month ahead, I'm giving myself the next few days to at least get a week up on each, like a week scheduled. So you should start seeing regular posts as of April. Um, yep. Yeah. I know how it sounds though. I know how it sounds. Uh, da, da, da. I thought US hadn't passed enough to be a thing. And when it means some areas would have sunrise after 9 a.m. Oh, good lord. Jesus. I mean, I know I get winter's bad. Like we have, we have a pretty late sunrise in winter here, but God, after 9 a.m. Fuck. It's interesting. The purpose is entirely waiting for three West Coast USA states to also change. This legislation did not set a date to make it effect. Oh God. That is a terrible law. Why did anyone allow that to pass through the fucking Senate? Law should be specific and precise. Good lord, that's terrible. My god. I really hope they haven't been so like blase with, with other shit as well. Like, look, this is this is not coming from a place of, of judgment. This is just a like a this is concern, honestly. When when you let laws through, like when you allow legislation through that is that open-ended. Good lord, what the fuck else are they hiding in that shit? Oh, mm-mm, mm-mm, no, 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 no. God, that's terrifying. I hope it all goes well for all, for all of you, all of you involved, not just in Canada, but for the US and stuff as well. Oh, good gracious. Whew, that makes me nervous. Anyway, <laughs> it's got no effect on me. I don't, like, whatever, but like, oof. Yeah, I would, uh... I would be real ass nervous about that. Um, rules. That's why I said very specifically, this is not like I am absolutely going to be doing my my best to to get this shit done. 
Uh, and we need to because we haven't done the same to make it all later. But yeah, but like even in Bris like here in Brisbane in winter, we don't we don't have we have no daylight savings. Not permanent daylight savings. We have permanent no like it, it doesn't matter. Like once you're done, you're, it doesn't matter. We don't have we don't change our clocks. Good. Um. So. So in winter, the sun rises real late, and in summer the sun rises quite early. But it never gets that late. It never gets that late. So maybe they're actually turning it off permanently. Like maybe they're going with like maybe they they're going with one or the other. But it's like the more reasonable one, and so they just kind of I don't know. No. This is me doing this. Sunshine Protection Act. Oh. Sorry, I just just. Sunshine Protection Act. They should make it something that cuts down on fucking smog. Not that fucking sets the clocks. No timey changey policy. Look, perfect. Done. Fixed. Sunshine Protection Act sounds wanky AF. Anyway, that's just my opinion. Haha! <laughs> uh, completely unanimous vote for yes. Oh, cool. You guys want to come let's have you sticking with the later time. It. Look, it depends on what their later time will be. Because, like, our later time isn't after 9 a.m. That's what I'm saying. So, like, maybe it's not actually that late for them. Maybe they stuck with that because sticking with the other one during summer, it would make it way too early if they went. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, maybe, yeah, who knows? Maybe maybe they assessed both both times and, and decided that they liked that one better, and so that's what they went with. Um, but yeah. <clears throat> from what shouldn't they be looking to protect themselves from sunshine sorry on mobile um it's a, a a law to repeal daylight savings basically it's um they're they're just sticking no no changing of clocks it stays at the same time all year round like in brisbane they had daylight savings and now they are no longer gonna have to change their clocks um but from what does sunshine require protection from the evil clocks from the evil curse of sleep. And because everyone has to go to bed at the same time, obviously, they're protecting the hours of sunshine they get to be times that people would normally be awake. Something, I don't know. It's it's a wanky name. <laughs> but it's fine. As long as everyone is happy with the law and it, well, obviously not everyone's gonna be happy, but as long as the majority are happy with the law and it doesn't adversely affect those that are unhappy with the law, then you're golden. Like, that was a fight. let's do it, you know? You're coming, did they? Hmm, <laughs> I mean, like, presenting the sunlight during the day, no more darkness at 4 pm. That's an observation act. So, like, get angry as you go. I still think it's a wanky name all round in general. Sunshine Protection Act sounds like it should be an environmental thing. Legit. Like, that's all I'm saying. It just sounds wanky. <laughs> that's a really dumb name yeah look i i agree with you yes <laughs> like why cannot we name things what they actually are like the permanent daylight savings act you know why why can't we literally just call like call a spade a spade i just don't understand it's all pr bullshit anyway anyway it's fine look <sighs> it's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna have a hydrate. You should all join me. Gosh, that's cold. <laughs> Whew. Yeah. Fear gets heated over US bill name that that does absolutely nothing. It just <sighs> Your death will bring me on. Protection Act sounds fines on people who are not slipping, slipping, slopping, and slapping. Yeah. Yeah. You got skin cancer? Guess what? <laughs> you got some fines too, baby. Obviously, not sun. The sunlight is not the only cause of skin cancer, but uh, here we are. 
Dox is actually losing their crap over it because in the areas furthest from Equator, we dark till after 9am. They're talking about circadian rhythm issues that come from eating, working, and learning before the brain wakes up with sunlight. It's really interesting. I mean, I guess, like... I have to say, super interesting fact, when we didn't have light because of the power being out when, when the floods and everything happened, excuse me, and the sun went down at like 6, 6.30, I had a, uh, I had a, like a ring light. Yep. I had a ring light that I plugged into a power pack and hung up as like a light, but it wasn't super bright. Like it wasn't enough light and my eyes started to hurt, right? And I'm like, look, there's, I... I reckon, you know, my eyes hurt. Um, I'm just, I might as well go to bed. And me, bitch ass insomniac, right? Got, went to bed at like 7.30. And I woke up at like six. And I was not, it was totally fine. One day, one singular day of not having artificial light. And I, I had artificial light, it was just shit. One day of not having sufficient artificial light, one singular day, and my, my circadian rhythm was perfect. Like, legit. It's craziness. Like, that is just ridiculous. So yeah, no, I absolutely, like, It will be interesting to see once that, once the whole, but I mean, the thing is like the, where I've lived, I'm like, I'm where I have lived without daylight savings, i.e. Brisbane, we are, we are quite close to the equator. We're, we're on a tropic. We're literally the tropics, you know? So we like, we don't necessarily need it as much. It's annoying having a time difference when I'm literally like directly north of my family. It's fucking weird, right? But it doesn't really affect us that bad. I don't usually call my parents at like 11 at night anyway. I know that once I finish, like one, they, once I finish stream, that I'm not going to be calling family after that point. Um, so it doesn't really affect me that much. But I've never lived further from the equator without daylight savings. So it would be really interesting to see how that medically affects people. If this is the first place outside of like close to the, you know, outside of the tropics to actually kind of do this stuff, it'll be really interesting to see what the medical effects are. Um, oh. I'm the sunshine join the fight against darkness forces. Uh, yeah, I'm aware, Danzos. Yep, Stream Raider is a side thing for us. I get to it when I get to it. Um, yep. Uh, I'm not with Canada being used to having no sun until like 10 a.m. and sun only until 4 p.m. during the winter months. <laughs> yeah. Look, it's, um... It'll be interesting. It'll be interesting. Uh, let's power for six days with us. Yeah, we were out for a week. Um, we're in an apartment building, so our building management got us uh, a generator. So we had power to do like basic life supporting things. So like we had the fridge, we were able to run our fridges and stuff. And we were able to run fans because it was stinking hot, um, but no like, no streaming. <laughs> I couldn't stream, uh, no like dishwasher, no air conditioning, um, like as many, if, if we could do it without power, we were told to because it was one little generator running like a whole apartment building because it's all we could get because it's you know the fucking floods everyone needs a generator um but yeah uh, all the apartment buildings around us ended up being hooked up to generators and stuff like that and then uh yeah it took us a week before we got mains power back uh but that's okay like it it, it is what it is and uh Energex had far more important things to be doing obviously like you know fixing up one building is going to be a, a lot smaller um, priority than fixing up places that, you know, like supermarkets and, and stuff like that that provide services to hundreds of people, if not thousands. 
Um, and of course, you know, you got to fix up the big issues and then all the little issues down the line and stuff too. Uh, and it has to be safe for the workers. It has to be safe for the workers. Um, but yeah, it was, uh, there's a time I've never, I've never lived, I have not, I haven't experienced a flood. Um, I haven't been living in Brisbane, uh, in Queensland at all while a flood happened. Um, so it was kind of, while the storm happened, it was kind of scary, like really scary. Um, uh, can I send a link to ABC article to mod for shares? Ah, uh, yeah, you should be able to. Uh, we did a lose. We need more units! More units! Uh, let's jump back in there and try that again! Uh, hey, Mol! Yeah, I'm doing alright. How are you going? How are you going? Uh, I just know from anyone's like 10 meters underwater. Quite fortunate I didn't get flooded. Yeah, no, we, uh, up to ground floor was flooded so up to so our we've got basement parking that was all completely underwater 100 percent. so all of our lifts were out and stuff like that um uh but and we had kind of like half of our street was underwater but not our half so we were we were pretty lucky um everything around us was just like no one had power for, for blocks and blocks and blocks uh yeah it was not fun it was, it was, like, I've never had to have a go bag packed, you know? Like, prepare to evacuate at the slightest notice sort of thing. So that was a little bit trippy. A little bit trippy. But, uh, look, we got through it, and, um, we're, you know, far better off than others in the same area, so I'm grateful. I'm thankful. Um, ease. This ride. Stones, okay. It's high time we rain down some destruction on those yeah, lily livered croak Level it all! Someone, I guess, Shiba guessed my makeup. Yes, Shiba did indeed. Armored Rizashi Raptor. In there. Floods are terrifying? They are. They are. Um. Yeah, it was. It was. It was not cool. Um, like. Every. Every street around here. Um, especially in the, not, not so much after the first couple of days, but in the, in those first couple of days where it still kept climbing slowly, but, but still climbing, um, a lot of, uh, our streets were all, like, everywhere nearby was all ripped off. We have, like, a, a, there's a main street and the main street was fine. Um, all the public transport was cancelled in all of Brisbane, so that's the thing. Um, but the, uh... We had a lot of uh, nearby streets cordoned off with uh, police and tape, and some of them had police vehicles. I feel like they just they didn't have enough police vehicles to cordon off all the streets because there were just so many, uh, because they weren't safe to drive down, uh, and there wasn't anywhere safe to turn around either. If you got down close enough, and then you were like, oh shit, there were because there were all these cars everywhere because none of us like all these apartment buildings and no one had basement parking anymore because it was all fucking flooded. Um, uh, all the streets, all, all the streets were full of cars. So, and then half those cars were under water. That if you got close enough that you could see the water, you'd be like, oh shit, but then there's nowhere to kind of turn in and, and back around and get out again. So they just blocked off the streets. Um, but yeah, it was just, god, it was a mess. And then going down to the local, local supermarket, because uh, no one had power, but this, this building must have had their own generator. Uh, because of maybe the Woolies. Um, so they had a generator on, and so that's where everyone was able to get their groceries, and of course they were buying limits on literally everything. Um, as as there should be, people people panic, I get it, but like, they have to make sure there's enough for everyone um, to prevent those who are panic buying, um, and those who are just dickheads, of course. Uh, but they had a they had a they um, an extension cable, an extension lead, that they ran out the door, and then people were coming along with their own like power boards and daisy chaining them so they're all sitting there charging their phones and stuff because there was nowhere else to do anything like that. No one had power. Uh, luckily, um, the night before the power went out um, and Jas had moved his car out of the basement and I'm kind of like, okay, we'll pack the go bag in case we wake up and we need to get out of here. 
um, or at any point during the night or whatever, and then when we woke up, it was like, okay, there's no power, but we turned off our PCs, and we had set up literally every power brick in the fucking house was plugged in. All of them. <laughs> so, uh, everything I had, we and we got a good couple of days worth of charge on all our devices, so both of our phones, we had the Switch as well, so Jas was playing a lot of Pokemon, uh, and eventually that was started dying, so we hooked that up to a power bank and let that charge as well. Like, it was just, um, yeah, it was, uh, and obviously a couple of ring lights at a couple of different points and stuff like that, but fuck, man, it was unusual and strange, uh, and yeah, it was scary, but I, I'm glad, I'm glad that, like, we were never in danger. Um, it felt like we were in danger at a few points, but we were okay, so that was good. It's good. The floods working the city. Yeah, yeah. Most of the city was underwater. Uh, have a good stream. Enjoy chaos. Rest well. Yeah, it was. Uh, uh, Just definitely had a, a few days off work. Um, I had. Uh, I think I was able to work on the Thursday because it like. As long as like as long as we didn't have anything else running in the house, I could run just the PC with work stuff, but I couldn't like game and stuff like that because it was just it was too I didn't want to be the person who caused the generator to overload, you know? Um so I just kind of restrained myself as much as, as possible. Uh but I did work on I didn't have any power on Tuesday, so I couldn't work. I did end up working on Thursday. Um But yeah, it was a it was a whole thing. The whole thing. Uh, did you guys are okay and safe? Yeah, yeah, you too. They had one of the worst floods in history there fairly recently. Yeah, it's, um, it's getting pretty, uh, it's getting pretty full on, hey. It's getting pretty full on. Someone's getting swamped, yeah. Yeah, it's still all going down there as well. But, um, around here where I am, I mean, I mean, there's still, you can still definitely see the effects of stuff. Um, there's a lot of, uh, apartment buildings and stuff that are still cleaning out affected levels. Um, so you're seeing a lot of, uh, at first it was a lot of furniture, like water damaged furniture and, and just household bits and bobs that were out on the curb for collection uh, and then once that got collected you started seeing like your rolled up carpets and things like that because they're of course all waterlogged and just full of mud and god knows what else and that's not sanitary you can't clean that it is it, in fact it's probably cheaper to just rip it out and put new stuff in um so yeah it's still like people are still doing all the the cleanup efforts and stuff but that's um that's kind of to be expected. Maybe two lots of dirt and potholes and trees down. Yeah. Yeah. Too many chores lately. A lot of those have been closed off too. Yeah, it'd just be too dangerous, I reckon, eh? Is it cheaper to replace? Yeah, especially when you're in these mass produced apartment buildings <laughs> where they, you know, bought a whole lot on the cheap. Um, but yeah, it's. Uh, I hope people can get their lives back to some semblance of normal soon, you know? One particular ulcer that is just like giving me hell. Is it in here? Where am I going? Oh, it's down here. What? Storm's rage. Tides welcome you. Oh, did I not actually turn that in before? Beware that which lurks in Guys, I just hit exalted. And that's actually a new transmog as well. <gasps> Guys! 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 A second. Are these upgrades? Probs not. Why is the shift clicky, the shift hold down shift thing not working? Oh, maybe I'm not focused on the right. Yeah, nah, none of those, neither of those are upgrades. Ooh, new transmog. Um, how much do I need? I need 10k? 
And I need 72k, so I need 82k total. Where's my... Where's my bank? That's not it. This is the one. It's like, that's an achievement! Withdraw 82k, and now I drop below a million. God damn it, that's fine. Worth. Worth! Welcome those who honor the sea. Storm song will be pure once more. What? Where's? 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 Where's DFA? What number mount is this? Mount time! Hello, Flutter. How you doing? What was the reason for the flood? Lots of water. Um, massive amounts of rain over a very short period of time. Um. I don't know, so the wood is such underneath as well. <laughs> I like that you think that any of these apartment buildings have any kind of wood in them. It's all concrete. It's all 100% absolutely concrete because concrete is a fuck ton cheaper than wood. <laughs> yeah, no wood here. Uh, as a recent flood, yes, lots of water, but specifically rainfall over, like, lots of rainfall over a very short period of time. Um, and it wasn't even a nasty storm. It, it genuinely wasn't a storm. It was just constant rain over like four or five days. Constant. It would let up for maybe two minutes, three minutes here or there. It was just constant, fairly heavy rain. No, no, like maybe, maybe a thunderstorm or something in there. But it was, it was just constant rain. It doesn't take a lot to, to flood. Like, I mean, it takes a lot of water, but it doesn't take as much as you might think to, to flood. Um, it also is the worst. Yeah, I had, um my dental surgery a week ago and uh because of the anesthetics uh the anesthetic the laryngoscope uh accidentally knocked around uh my, my uvula and my soft palate somewhat so i've got ulcers on so the flap of skin just before the tonsils are both covered in ulcers and then i've got one rather nasty one on the dangly bit in the middle which is the uvula um but they're healing they're definitely on the mend they hurt a lot less than they did back on friday uh, plain filtered water hurt. Yeah, that's how fucked up I was. It hurt so bad. It's so bad. But this is, this is actually, this is filtered water, but flavoured. I've got some, uh, um, like, uh, syrupy stuff in there that's, like, super low sugar and all that kind of stuff. It's really quite tasty. It's called tea press. Like, express, but tea. Tea press. Yep. Um... And this is the berries one, strawberry, raspberry, and I want to say like loganberry or lingonberry. I don't know, but it's yummy. And uh, mm. it, uh, the, the top and side ulcers are fine with it, but the side ulcer on this side has kind of spread underneath the corner of my tongue, if that makes any sense. So it's like in under there, and that's the one that's stinging. Uh, but that's okay. Uh... Thank you all for the grats. Make it really easily. I will. I will. Never one million gold even trying for you. No, I have a million. I just I'm about to spend it. It has in general. Oh right, gotcha. Yes, yes, definitely a fair point. Uh okay. Um sure. Uh this is, this is gonna be yas. I deleted the fucking quote. I did. I did. This is just a new hole, not a cave, a hole. Zero, yep, there is a quote zero. It exists. Alright, so. Um, DFA says I have 648 mounts. So this will be mount number 649. I'm gonna get. No, fine. It's gonna turn into a hashtag, but I. Oh, actually, maybe. Oh, no, it will. That's okay. Okay. So that's Mount 649. <clears throat> and then, oh shit, has this updated? Oh my god, you guys, it's updated and I didn't notice. Oh no. Oh no, there it is. I found it. Okay, so that was... No, that's Order of Embers. Where's... There we go. Okay, so that's the Dapple Grey that I've just learned. And then we have this one, which is Mount 
six fifty. Whoa. Well, okay. Take off the shift when you're doing the numbers. Mount hundred and mount number six hundred and fifty. <clears throat> I'm pretty happy with that, and it means that I can take Storm's Wake entirely off my list forever. To Order of Embers. Uh, actually, we might. Uh, mm. ah. Let's just make this convoluted as hell. It's fine. Let's go this way. Uh, doing attention payment to this. Ah, fair enough. I mean, if you're willing to let it take a few more minutes to finish a dungeon, but eh, I just prefer to get shit done, honestly. But up to you. <laughs> Keep getting ones I popped in. Maybe the bot knows, Seeker. Maybe the bot knows. Six fifty. I feel like man six 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 should be something special. Look, it probably should be. Will it be? Probs not. Um, <laughs> I don't know. We'll we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, so I'm probably not gonna get Order of Embers done today because I know I was a fair bit behind for Order of Embers. But um, look, never say never. Never say never. All right, good. It's done. Wanted. Oh, wait. What? Ah, there we go. This one, please. Sweet. Uh. Good. Never. Sam, you just love being dangerous, don't you? I wonder, actually. I wonder how far off my list is and if I'm going to actually have to make some decent adjustments. So, the assault mounts are on there. Assault mount, assault mount. Malbog is on there. Archivist code isn't. High Mount Paragon is. War of Embers is. Unshackled is. Um, Valfir is. Escape Wildling isn't. Haraka is. Tormentus is. Crack is not. Oh no. And then, oh no. Hellscream's Reach is. Oh, that's a purchase one. And then Island. Yeah, I might have. I have a question. Do I. I've got two options here. Either I can update my list to include new things now that the order is shuffled, or I can continue working on the ones that I have until I run out of things to do on a particular day and then start adding new things to the list. There are, so, um, the, the shuffling things around means that obviously we get a little bit more uh, of a variety now that, you know, the list has changed and every time, the list changes once a month, roughly. Um, or it, it you know, the, it, the data updates once a month. Uh, but if I actually keep working on the ones that I have on the list and only add new ones, like when I cross things off and when I run out of time and it's like, if I, if I finish stuff and I've got extra time in a stream, then adding more things on it means that I'm more likely to get these ones done and just finish them forever and get them crossed off the list. So how, mm, I, mm, I don't know how to feel. Hey Kay, welcome back. Hey Dunno, how's my fun undergoing? I just got two mounts. I just got two mounts, so it's going pretty well. I'm feeling quite a bit better. I'm still feeling pretty bleh, but I'm, I'm feeling quite a bit better. Update. Update. Someone in this cave is mining Azerite from the world's open wounds. I want an update. Okay, I'm okay, crying, okay. Finishing things forever does sound nice. See, that sounds really nice to me. The fact that I just I just crossed those two mounts, I never have to do them again. I'm exalted with that faction now. I don't have to do that ever again. Unless I want Paragon Cage bullshit, which I don't think I do. I might, but I don't think I do. Um, okay, I'll update the list. Wounds champion. Really nice surprise at work today. Oh, good. 
I'm glad. Update? Alright. But do I update it today or for next Mount Fun Monday? The, the key here is I'm going, like, the list is just going to have whatever's on Data for Azeroth up until Islands, because I feel like Islands, I could do an entire bloody stream of that and I probably won't get them out, so. <clears throat> Mm, I, take? I delivered this one. Oh, fantastic, Kay. I'm so pleased to hear it. That was really quick. Oh, I'm so glad. I need to get back to my contact there, actually. Um, I was talking to them about some stuff. Today, of course. Go update today, see what it gives. Alright. Um. Okay, let's sit tight while I do this, then. <clears throat> okay, so Venthyr Assault is a Covenant Assault. That's already on the list. Necrolord Assault is a Covenant Assault. Already on the list. Nightfair Assault, Covenant Assault. Already on the list. Malbog, already on the list. The Archivist's Codex, Tier 6. That's rep farming. So I know that there is an endless rep farm you can do for Archivist's Codex, but um, I think I've missed the boat on that. I don't think there are enough people doing that anymore to make it actually effective. Um, so what I would probably do for that, uh, let's have a look and see. Do you get rep with them just from the items or do you get some from the, doing the weekly and the dailies and stuff? <clears throat> yeah, rep grinds, I'm tough, I've been doing dailies for better than the last week, so. Ready have the mount oh, seeker. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh my lord. I'm so sorry. Um uh, doing all the dailies and killing a few silvers on the way nets less than 400 of a day, over hundred consecutive days of grinding. I'm gonna get crafty behind this crap again. Uh Archivist Codex Reputation Guide. This is what I wanted. <clears throat> so killing rare mobs and looting treasures in Corthia. And then there's the one time Corthian relics, which I haven't done my rank four ones yet, I don't think. So it'll help as well, I think. All right, so there's a there's a weak aura in this guide. Um, it'll show you what you've already done for the day, so what you can still get things from. Uh, so no, not dailies. It's just, so you need to do, there's the rep thing and then there's the, okay. So, and there is a, there is a Zygor guide for their, their one, once, like, there are some relics you can only collect once that count towards rep. There is a Zygor guide for those. Everything else is a daily, like you can get five nests for etc. Um, so I can add that to the list and I can put that in with Malbog. Uh, archivists. Codex, and I need to get that to tier six. So that's just a tier six. Perfect. Um, so it's not the it's not the uh, Paragon case or anything. It's just you buy it for Anima when you get there. High Mountain Paragon is on the list. Order of Embers Exalted is what I'm doing now. Wave Blade and Cohen Unshackled Paragon, which is there. Storms Wake, Exal Storms Wake Exalted, I bought that. Valfia is already on the list. Uh, Escaped Wildling. I don't have my Druid in Corthia yet. So, Escaped Wildling. But that's on the Druid, so I do that at the same time as doing Valfia. 
uh, Harrick of the Horrid on the list, Tormentors of Torghast on the list, promotion that involves me purchasing something for $90, which I do not have, uh, <laughs> Wild World Cracker. Oh shit. That's the Kyrian one. Okay, alright, okay, 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 okay. That's right, breathe, that's fine. That's fine, you can do this. <clears throat> Wild World Cracker. Alyssa. Uh, using necrory egg. Um, okay, so, uh, that's, if I can get that on one, I can get it on all of them. So I'll put that in after the alts, but before fear. All 60s. Um, so that's the one that drops from the necro lord cache. So if I'm on, for example, Phelan. Actually, I might put that af just after Phelan, so I don't forget to check her for it. Using Necrore Egg. 60s. So if I can get one on Phelan, I can then go and do it on all of them. But if Phelan can't get any, none of the rest will be able to get any either, I think. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Um, even is there is there one in the rotation that is your home covenant? So like if I get um, one that's like Troubles at Home on Fear, is that one going to be Revendreth for everyone, or is that going to be everyone's respective covenants? Answer for the yeah, I don't know if that, I don't know how that works. Uh, so oozing, oozing, Tolbarad, which is on the list. I'm Night not a paladin. No. None of these are paladins. So haha. Uh, Shade Leaf Runestag, Night Fey Covenant, Renown Twenty Three. That's an anima farm. Night. Oh, no, this is gonna... Yeah, Anima Farm. Or Enchanted. Shade. Leaf. Room sake, you happy? <laughs> That's on Phelan. Uh, and then Islands. So that's it. Cool. All right. Oh, God, that list is enormous. Fuck me. All right. It's fine, 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 it's fine. <sighs> Chair stream, I'm gonna need it in a second. I'm gonna need it. Oh, oh a stretch. I can do that one though. Uh, let's actually, while I mash buttons. Straight. Oh, actually, I think I might need some food. I'm feeling a bit lightheaded. Um, confidence in the future. Um, some of them, some of them can't be soloed, yeah. Um, but a lot of that can be kind of soloed, mostly. This is not for any rupture. It. Thank you, Kay. I appreciate that. Fun. Let's toss in some new activities in there. <clears throat> Honestly though, 650 account wide mounts. That's a milestone. That's pretty good. Just keep in mind I have to get more than 41 mounts this patch. I have to get more than 41 mounts before they introduce more. So I can stay ahead. <laughs> if I start falling behind, that's when things will start getting uncomfortable. The mother guides my blade. Ah, oh, you're killing it. Thank you. Necro Lord Night Fae and Benthe. I do have one of everything, but none of them are any kind of advanced. So it may help in future. At this point, I think all I need is a Night Fae who can summon Balfir, which I know Kay can do. I don't know how far into Night Fae you need to be to be able to summon. I can't remember. Eventually, I will probably get to the point where I can summon him myself, but I'm not. I don't. I have not had time. 
surprising literally nobody. So, so um, that's a time. Uh, but yeah, I think, I don't think I need anything from the other covenants that I haven't unlocked yet. Yet. But we'll see when we get there. So, I don't believe in use to do with the anima upgrade things. It is, yeah. I, yeah, I know, I, I just can't remember which one it is and what tier they have to get through. I think it's the treasures and rares one. I think it's, but I, I don't know if it's tier, it could be tier three. I, I don't know. That would suck. <clears throat> hey, Lucky. It's gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Has the map been discussed already? It has. I can tell you if you'd like, or you can guess without having a prize on the line. You're cool. Uh, Belfry's Anima Conductor Tier 3. Thank you, Doc. Yeah, I, I knew it was the Anima Con I, I'm pretty sure it was because, like, you know, Rares and Treasures, Anima Conductor, but, um, yeah, it could have. Yeah, thank you. Look, I'll, I'll get there. Oh, hi. Welcome home. You. Thank you. Appreciate that. Am I? What the hell am I stuck on? Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> oh, for God's sake! Hashtag demon hunter go. problems. <laughs> demon hunter problems. Fucking my life problems. How is work? What? Yeah, I can imagine. Baby, do, 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 Are you gonna like or put something warm and snuggly on? Um. You should you have a hoodie or two. Can you drink? I did not ask. I would. <laughs> what? It'll be in my pro stop stuff. So I can draw straws, this can increase bleeding by disturbing the blood clot in the socket, but it doesn't. That says no blood clot in my socket. Punk of metal in, in my socket. Um, well, it does say three to four days. Yeah, but that's. <coughs> Alright, we'll give it another week. Well, I'm thinking. I know what you're asking. I think as long as I don't try to unstick pearls from the straw, as long as it's like gentle straw usage I should be okay as long as it's not like you know trying to desperately get a clump of pearls through the straw oh. I... I really didn't want to walk oh why how come did you not defrost me oh okay yeah um I can I'm reckon I'm like my throat's pretty good. Like only one of the old sisters. Yeah. Yeah. Um, That's great. I mean, it. I it's had a bottle of so coke today. Oh yeah, that would have been intelligent. <laughs> it burned everything off. Anyway, <laughs> um, I need it. I was fucked. Um, I'm drinking water now. Uh, so I reckon I'm probably gonna be okay for the month. Because the crunchies and the yogurt were fine. I mean, my jaw still kind of hurts, but that's from the first um, And I feel like as long as I don't chew, I'm just chewing my right side and I'll be fine. But maybe not like super chewy, like maybe well done kind of. I don't do well done. No, I know, I know, steak. but like not overcooked either. Um, like, I don't chew. overcook steaks. It's every kind of three weeks or so you do. I mean, so do I. I feel like that's a, for a non-professional, I think that's a pretty good strategy. <laughs> um, but yeah, so as long as it's not like super chewy or, or super dry or whatever, I think I should be okay. Um, yeah, that's pretty much Perfect placement, perfect angle, perfect everything. Yay, the jaw's working at least. Mm, well, the implant's <laughs> in where it should be. It's um, still weird to feel, and some of the wounds still sting. Um, I feel like, what I keep saying on stream is, if you ever feel like you got something stuck in your teeth, you sort of play with it with your tongue, try to get rid of it? No, I go and grab a piece of the and get rid of it. 
Okay, prior to you living with me and having access to pieces of floss, did you ever, like, get something stuck between you and you can't, like... You should just, yeah, just chug a soft drink. <laughs> Dentistry 101, ladies and gentlemen, and binary <laughs> friends. But you know what I mean, though, yeah, right? I mean. So I keep feeling like that, and so I go to get rid of it. <laughs> that was a good one, too. It was, it really was. But because I keep poking it, it, because I keep poking it to try to pull the stitches away with my tongue, it's getting a, it's a little tender. Um, but it's mostly okay. Yeah, okay. That's, that's fair. Did so, you see the new kettle? No. It's got a really short extension, a really short lead on it, but it's because I've wrapped it up in the base twice, so if you need to move it away, you can unwrap it. Yep. You should see what I found in the mail. I'll be back shortly. Run away, little girl. Run away. I need some advice. Um, so we're going to do this thing, obviously. Uh, Danzos, Faden, and Ralu, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Um, we have received a small parcel to our home address. It's not the PO box, um, but it is not addressed to either Jas nor I. It it's got a very, very different name from either of our names on it. Uh, loyalty token chest. Make sure you place your units if you would like some stuff. Uh, usually what I would do with this kind of stuff is write on it, not at this address, and pop it back in the post box. It doesn't have a return address on it. Here is a, here is a hot tip, just first of all. If you are running a small business, make sure you put fucking return addresses on your shit. Like, I'm not, like, th this is very clearly, th this has a sticker on the back of it that says, thank you for your order, right? This is a small business who has made something for a person who has put in the wrong address, and they have sent it to us. I can't return it to sender because there is no sender. I am going to assume that there is probably going to be some kind of uh, business card in there because anything that I have ever bought from Etsy has come with a little branded business card to try to obviously, you know, drum up repeat sales and stuff like that. Often it's come with a card that says, you know, use code blah, blah, blah for 15% off your next order or free shipping on your next order or whatever because that's how you get repeat customers. Um, so, but, but it's not okay to open other people's mail. Like it's, it's against the law in most places, but there's no return address. So literally the only thing, if I put this back in the thing and say, not at this address, what is Australia Post going to do? They're going to toss it in the bin. So do I toss it in the bin to save OzPost the effort or like, this would, there's, it was not delivered as a parcel. It's small enough that it went straight into the mailbox. So there is no tracking number. All it has, it's literally got stamps on it. So it hasn't even been like e-paid to, to buy like a label at the post office or anything. So there is literally no way for me to track where this has come from in order to try to get it back to the person who sent it or to the person who actually ordered it. What I'm expecting eventually will happen is that the person who has ordered it will contact the Etsy seller or whatever and say, I never got the package. And they'll go, is this your address? And they'll go, fuck, no, crap. But like, what do I do?
Uh, back here. Oh, I'm not dead. Now, oh, please tell me because I'll never get it. Ah, an armored Rizashi Raptor. Armored Rizashi Raptor. Uh, if you have to put it this much, is it really worth <laughs> With my stitches, yep. Yep, super, super awkward and weird. Um, let's see if there's details in there. That's what I was thinking, but also, like, am I going to get in trouble for opening somebody else's mail? I don't want to do that. That's like... No, I just didn't put a return address. There you go. Good you put the right... Good you gave me the right uh, address then, eh? We would seem better to take it to a post office. I, I can't do that. Um, it'll take entirely too long. Um, I, I don't have the ability to get there and then stand around and blah, 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 when they're probably just gonna... I, I might be able to call them. I could probably call customer because I can I can sit here and do other shit while I sit on hold. That's probably that might be what I do actually. I might call them and ask for advice because it's um yeah. Some intentions. Research the name never knows how I found the person who dropped their ID. See, ID is easy. You take it to a police station, like they or or even a post office, and they'll usually get it to where it needs to go, um, or like the the RTA or whatever. In fact, don't, if you put an ID, just if you dump it in a post box, I can't remember, Some I feel like I heard somewhere that if you just put somebody's ID in a post box, it will make its way home to them as long as they've got the right address updated on their file and stuff. Um. How can you give enough contact to buy, even if you send it back, might be the question. If it's a tiny little Etsy store, yes, because negative reviews are toxic to a small business negative review like I never got my parcel and they refused to resend it because I gave them the wrong address like wouldn't have they let, obviously they'll leave out that last section but yeah absolutely they would best intention situation just nothing just opened it yeah of course of course at least say it's harassment what what has that got to do with literally anything Uh, it's nice to just give it a quick shot. It's obviously from a small business. I'd likely open it enough to get a business card from it and contact the company. Yeah, I might, um, I might give OzPost a call tomorrow and just kind of sit here on, on hold <laughs> until they pick up and, uh, ask their advice on it just so that I've got my butt covered. Um, because, yeah, ideally I'd like to get it to, like, even if... Like, even if they'd be willing to pay shipping again, like, as in the, the company to pay shipping, if they are a teeny tiny Etsy store, if they're a small company, they're probably not going to be able to afford to pay, like, pay postage twice on, on an item. Um, I know how bloody expensive that stuff is, and I can see how much they've paid. Uh, <laughs> so, um, I feel like... What's going to end up happening is that they're going to have to go to the person and say, "Hey, I've, you know, I've gotten notification, however, you know, however way that um, your your address was wrong. Do you want to pay shipping again so I can resend it, or what?" Yeah, it's a. Uh... A little bit weird. I mean, I get um, mail all the time for the like the owners of this place because this was owner occupied before I moved in, uh, and I've been getting their mail for years, literally years now. Um, and I always just you know black permanent marker zoom zoom along, not at this address, hasn't lived here for X years. Um, every so often, I'll stop getting it from a particular company once they get the message, but. Um, yeah. And I used to work at a company where we'd get a whole bunch of not at this address stuff returned. Um, so I know how it's usually handled, but I don't know, some businesses just maybe they don't. Like, it will save you money if you actually pay attention to your return to sender crap. You don't have to pay postage to that, that bloody address anymore. Like, it will save you money. 
but whatever. I'm just open the package and look what's inside. Yeah, look. Look. I'm uh, I'm not down to commit crimes. Uh, the for better even spend tomorrow and hold you for better day than I will. So tomorrow, the injection is gonna ruin my whole day. Yeah, I have to get bloods done tomorrow, so. You have to get up early enough to get it done before work as well. Super yo. <laughs> one of me is, yeah. We'll do a crime sealer package. No. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> it's not a thing that we do here. The company's collection, even though our door clearly has our company name on it. Yeah, but like, I mean, I've worked in companies where there's one company name on the door, but there's like seven companies in the building, you know? Like, I, I get, I get that. I get, like, if Toll has been, been told to go to an address, they have to. Um, if there's a different entrance nearby for that company, I'd be like putting up a laminate saying, use door around corner for company blah. But, uh, yeah, it's, um... I just don't understand how companies in particular can not update that stuff, you know? Like, good lord. Well done. The people of Drustbar are Especially depending on how long it's been for. Is this not affecting the way you're able to do business? <laughs> Surely. Surely. Ah, uh, no time to make crimes, but crime pays. Crime also gets my Twitch account banned. And my Twitch account pays. So, you know, is that. Another address on the street, not our complex. Yeah. Like, oh. I, I just like, how do you how do you stop that from happening without having to go out of your way to like? Sorry, never heard of that company. Nope, sorry. Call your contact. No, nope, sorry. Don't know who that is. Just force them to do the work, like fuck. Uh, it's actually a report run. Authorities know this is not amended. I should have to think of the money. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, it's it's not much per letter, maybe, but like multiple letters over multiple time, and like hundreds of thousands of people who haven't changed their addresses. I uh, eventually put up a sign up saying they're not here, and giving the new address. Nah, because that stops them from having to do their fucking jobs. Like, the, the other company from having to update their goddamn details. Snap, don't know who they are. Make them get in contact with the company. Make the company do the fucking right thing. Like, I, I would absolutely try to help for the first few weeks. For sure. Absolutely. But like, six years? Fuck you. No way. If you seriously be haven't updated your address with your shipping company that is going to prevent you from doing business for six years, that is on you, honey. That is on you. Your customers are now complaining because it's like three weeks late on their deliveries. You should have updated your shipping address with the literal shipping company that you use. Like, good lord. Good lord. Uh, two, three years before we moved in. God, no, well, did they, I wonder, did they have a sign up while they were, because you know how you see, like, companies that are like, you know, we've moved, blah, 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 blah. Like, maybe they had something like that up until you guys moved in. Ugh, I just, people will not do anything. They will not lift a bloody finger unless they are absolutely forced to. And this amount of decaying mail outside the door, yep. Yeah. Like, I would have been, like, the first toll person to go through would have been like, Hey, I went to the other building. And, but you guys weren't there. Do you want to update your address? Like, do you, do you want... Here, here's this form. Do you want to fill that out and we can update your... You know? Like, God. There's just so many different company procedures have failed for this to be a six-year-long ridiculosity. Which just makes me angry. People are idiots. Uh, question for chat and maybe fear. Is there a secret way to get a tailing pattern to drop? I don't know how much more banana anchor I can do. Uh, there is a secret way. It is keep doing the instance. 
Literally. It's the only way. It is chance. Today. Today. I had an enchanting pattern drop that I have been farming for literally years. Since probably around Wrath, I have been farming this pattern just randomly off and on, you know, whenever. Um, and it dropped today. Enchanting pattern from AQ. Both AQs. It drops from any of the bosses in either of the raids, so. Yeah. But, um, yeah, Shadow Power finally dropped. But, uh, back when I had Akis Recipe List installed for those who remember that beautiful add-on. It was like ATT, but specifically only for recipes, for professions. And it would pop out a little attachment thing, kind of like ATT does. Uh, and it would have this big long list. Oh no, maybe it was another tab. Oh, I don't remember. Um, but yeah, it would have your unlearned. And then of course it fell out of development because now we have unlearned. But um, yeah, it was... And restore order to the town. It was on there, and it was my, the first one on the list because it was from vanilla, and it was from like the earliest raids, and it drove me batty. And so yeah, I farmed it, and I farmed it, and, I, and it just didn't drop. A few weeks back, it dropped on another character, which doesn't have enchanting. Have a good one. But today it dropped on fear, so I'm quite happy with that. Mm. Lightful guys, I still left mid late last year. Precious to receive mail, so they've got it sorted with everyone. Occasional time something ends up here, we just call them and they come collect it. Yeah, of course. Congrats, thank you. Appreciate the advice, you're very welcome. I'm sorry it was so deadpan. Uh, uh, yeah, look, it's um, unfortunately not. Why are you in BFA? Because I'm farming uh, reputation for mounts. It's Mount Farm Monday. How are you going, miss? Hope you're having a fantastic day. Indeed, yes, mount farming. Good fun. Get in and get out, of course. Can you get mounts from pet battles? No, but you get rep. It's a world quest, that one. Uh, I've just ticked it off, obviously, so it's no longer on the map, but that one was a world quest, so I got a uh, reputation from it. I don't believe there are mounts from pet battles, just pet battle stuff from pet battles. Needs are out, of course. There's a general rule of thumb is if there's anybody else there, don't tame it. Uh, good morning, good morning, Nails. Welcome back. People of Drustbar are safer thanks to you. Wonderful. I did a good. Well done, Shiba. Well done. Uh, okay, let's go turn this in. <clears throat> oh 
Artemis rep from the Emissary. And we can head Good day to you. this way. Up we go. It's wounds! Time for wounds. Several Azerite wounds lay exposed nearby. Use the heart of Azeroth to mend them. Should I get this one? I didn't. Okay. Yeah, I think maybe I might do an early dinner tonight because I'm starting to get a little bit funky. Dizzy. And stretch on my redemption list. Ooh. I've already done a chest event. I've already done a chest stream. I have another stretch. I don't need to be early anyway because raid night. I'm not raiding tonight. Regardless, I've always traditionally eaten dinner during <laughs> raid. Like, <laughs> it's entirely too early, otherwise by the end of raid I'd be fucking starving. Oh, oopsie. Uh, no. Um, we've got stuff that's soft. I'm not eating what he's eating. So intimidating. Oh, you're doing fine, Seeker. You made it to the end of the dungeon. Like, that's a whole lot better than most groups do. Step one. You did well, champion. I can feel Azeroth recovering her strength. Thanks to you. Onward to victory and more rep. <clears throat> My people are threatened by a powerful foe in this area. Neutralize the threat. I actually knew. Oh, no, it was not. <laughs> it absolutely was not. It is an upgrade, though, so I'll take it. Um, yeah, most people, like, m most of the time it's expected that you've learned to play the class as you've leveled it, sort of thing. Um, yeah, that's kind of not obviously not the way a lot of people do it. Usually, people blast through with one spec, but um, leveling through, chopping and changing specs, definitely a, a good idea. It's a bit late for that, for that now, um, but.
If you've got a character slot available, you could. Uh, actually, no, the. Um, past trials don't really do all the specs, do they? They, um. This spec. God damn it. that map cleared. Uh, I can take that off. Uh, so I'm heading to Valfir. Uh, jumping on Phelan and heading to Valfir. Uh, it's like awesome. Okay, thank you. Okay, Siko, honestly, that like that happens to a lot of groups, especially during time walking. Like time walking is a lot more difficult than people remember it is. And so people flub all the time. Like I, I've done groups, like full pre-made, five person group for time walking and didn't finish the dungeon because we just couldn't get through what we needed to get through. It's uh it's not like it's not uncommon at all. Um there we go. Uh, but I think I will return in just a moment to see if I can't grab myself some food. Another chair stream. So I will use that!
Allah. Okay. <clears throat> Let us start the new world order of Mount Farms. <laughs> Uh, right. Oh, you're very welcome, Seeker. That's okay. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm spitting his truths. Um, you know, when I dropped out, welcome back, Lucky. Welcome back. Any good anecdotes just to fill this truth? <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's my, it's my jacket, my jumper that I knitted that I haven't been able to, I haven't been bothered to put away yet. I'm a bad. Um... Outside. Oops. <clears throat> okay, so. Alright. It's this one. I can't. I don't like that I can't set it as a. Can't set it as a tracky thing. It annoys me. Like hide them. No, okay, that's fine. I'll just have to kind of hopefully aim in the right direction. Um. Okay. <laughs> that was a noise. Can we have metal lines? Of course. Of course you can. Absolutely. Ralph is up. Um, I'm just gonna hang back here until the battle's done and hope it doesn't. Oh, we're the only ones here. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm gonna wait until the battle is done and we'll see. <sighs> Remember the battle plans. I think we might win this one. Awesome. Sounds like someone maybe summoned and then tried to kill and couldn't and ran away, maybe. Hey, there we go. Bonus tokens for all. Bod, Koala, Zam, and Dan, congratulations to you on your bonus shit. Oh, Jesus Christ. Look at pew, 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 pew. all the stuff. All right, uh, we're heading up so we can grab that skin chest. <clears throat> mm, I still don't have any assists from buffing. No. Mm. Assists from buffing. I thought a flag bearer would do that, but it hasn't. So let's try this one. No, what am I? Why is this an exclamation mark? I don't understand. It's irritating me. I'm going to do battle plans in just a second. Oh, look! Oh, do you look at that? Oh, has it been pulled? It has. That's okay. I've got time. <laughs> Go! Just hiding. Yeah, not yet. It hasn't been, uh... 
Uh, it hasn't been done yet. I haven't had the energy to do so, but I've got one hell of a to-do list to start cracking through tomorrow. It's gonna be great. Looking forward to it. Just get stuff done. Especially stuff that's not like repetitive stuff I have to do again later. I can just do, do it and it's done forever. Oh, it's gonna feel good. I will pour another glass in just a moment. I need to be hydrated for my blood test tomorrow morning. Nothing for fear. Okay, uh, so I've done. Well, fit now. I course, yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> Is this leveling the Shadowlands? Chains of Domination. It could be anyone. I don't know what that is. Okay, include the in need of assistance. Use Chains of Domination quest line guide to accomplish this. Okay. Is that under leveling? It is. Ch fucking good job, Fia. Good job. Um. <clears throat> so I normally can use the first chapter. What do we? What do we not get? What are the rewards from the first two chapters? <clears throat> Why does Patch's patch go? Oh, wait, hang on. No, nine. It's not nine two. I want nine one. Yeah, 20, 20th for us, I think. Or is 20th or 21st? It was a Tuesday for, you, for everyone else. Uh, so yeah, 19th, so 20th for us in Australia. Because time. Because time. <clears throat> mm. Okay, so. Okay, be warned this skip will follow, forfeit the following. A 187 item level weapon of your choice. I've got a 187 offhand already. 10 scission embers, don't care. A death's advance war chest. What can be in that? Under its reputation. Research question on the anima. Oh, well, the anima might be okay. Some reputation with death's advance Minari. Four catch-up emblem of renowns granted by the quests. I actually could probably use those. And it's not gonna take me long to get that done. Yeah, alright, let's Besides our hot. The note on top of the, the new kettle. It hasn't been done yet, that's right. why it's there. <laughs> I, guess I have to go prep the kettle. Okay, thank you. Yeah, well, that's- I, no I, put, I put that there to remind myself and then- Sorry! <laughs> I am a sorry. 
the kettle needs to be boiled a few times and drained just to prepare it for like it, it's like you know when you get a new filter for a bottle of water or something like that you gotta like boil it a few times or run things through it a few times um but i i was gonna do it and then i forgot because i'm very good at that i sat down with my bottle of coke and did some cross stitching all right i like i forgot <laughs> So I'm just making a total mess of this lasagna so that I can uh, eat it more easily while I'm gaming. But yeah, we are not going to skip into Corfia. Uh, we're actually going to do it because that renown will probably actually help a lot because I don't do a whole lot of catch up on my uh, on meals. But it's not going to take me that long anyway. Oh, I'm actually really, I'm really interested to see how long it will take me. Yeah, twentieth. Yeah, twentieth for Oz. But yeah, it'll. It's like three a.m. on the on the Wednesday. I'm gonna be having an early night on the Tuesday. Let me tell you. Okay. Gothia, Lego. Oh, teleport to the Emerald Dreamway. Okay, let's do that. Hi, the sun. Ah! Yes. Twelve months. Congratulations on your new sub badge, and thank you so much. For your ongoing support for a whole goddamn year, my lord. I hope you're doing well. My renown catch up rolls gets him to 40. Yes, but I'm 60. Like, I'm sorry, I'm renowned 60. Not level 60. I, just, I said that and I'm like, wait a minute. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I know that though. Um, I, I bought that on a character recently. No, shush, I'm not telling you. <clears throat> that went fast, didn't it just? My lord. Time flies when, um... Yeah, sure. <laughs> no, I'm definitely having fun. I hope you're all having fun too. I got you, yeah. Mm. Yeah, so, uh, uh... I got to 40, I think, before the catch-up thing was a thing. Because my mount, the mounts were on the list. Um, but yeah, for future tunes, for sure. <clears> Hop. <throat> If I'm around 60, look, I feel it some days. I really bloody do. Ah. It's very well because I'm not actually 60. I'm level 60 on a couple of tunes. I'm 32. Um, but I, I bloody, the other day, I was like, okay, so I have to... This cannot be. I have to do this thing and go and do that and then, okay, 647. 647. I want to see how long this actually takes me. Um, I had to go do this thing, and I had to all these all these things as I was getting ready for bed, and I was like, "Oh, all these things are things that the elderly would probably need to do." <laughs> and I was like, "Oh no, I, I am I am 70. Good lord." Hear the words of the Arbiter. <clears throat> Reasons I love Zygo. You're a special <laughs> one, aren't you? Both Ardenweald and Oribos could come under assault. Darien, the You two in 28 years of experience. The city. God, that's gonna be terrifying. I wonder if I'll still be streaming when I'm 60. I wonder if I'll hit 60. That's a terrifying thought. With all the health issues that I have, I wonder if I'll hit 60. One way to find out. There's some with meds. Meds alarms are the best. Because like, God, that's, the God, I wouldn't take half my meds if I didn't have alarms for them. I do not, I don't remember anything. I'm back. A med alarm will go off, and then I'll be like, "All right, I gotta do that. I'll turn it off, and then I'll go to do it, and then I'll get distracted by something, and then an hour later, Jas will be like, "Did you take your meds?" And I'm like, "No." 
I have backups. Jas is a backup alum. That's yep. <clears throat> so, want to know something stupid I did the other day? Yes. I put in all my catalysts in the garden, but didn't put in any souls. Well done. That sounds like exactly something that I would do. Well done. One more to go. Oh, this planner just has to work. I grant you an uh, oh, I'm waiting. Mm, this dumb dog to spawn. Oh, Shiba. Um, the true is it one that's spawning today? The heart of the is it's it Vex? To stop the Vexus? Because um, the the thing on Wowhead is wrong. If you're if you're judging by the Wowhead thing to see what's spawning that day, it's wrong. I can guarantee you. Um, I have had things spawn that weren't on that list, and I have things that are on that list not spawn. It's just flat wrong. And, it, like, massively different times of the day and all that kind of stuff as well. So it's not just that it's a time zone issue, it's it's just plain wrong. Um, it, it might just not be up today. Or the day... I, I've, I'm convinced, I'm absolutely convinced that the the only can is only up on certain days rares for uh, for zm it's not a day i swear it's it's like um uh like argus was where they're up for like an eight hour period and that's it or something like that because i've just had so many weird experiences like all of them have been up on a particular day and so, and so that just you know it just doesn't quite feel right <clears throat> But yeah, if it's been like more than half an hour and it hasn't spawned, I would hazard a guess that it's not up at the moment. <clears throat> Future don't tell anyone though? Gotcha. Noted. Noted. There's more in turn 98. Maybe it's because there was all the treatment stuff and the constant checkup so that there's an easy way to notice if anything else goes wrong and they can, like, quickly grab it. <clears throat> this is, uh, this is not good. It has to be to get out of bed, yeah. Getting out of the bed is the hardest thing to do each day. For realsies. That's such a good idea through this for DMs. How long for doing any reminding alarms don't do anything? Fair. Totally fair. Ah, uh, what have you shipped for the win? Yeah. There's no overdue. No, I know. That's why I was going on the rant. Uh, for years. Fair enough. Rotation. Yeah, Vexus is absolutely on a rotation. If you've got handy notes, it'll tell you which ones are rotating and, and not. Day, not blue dailies. Yeah. Um, those ones are world quests. World quests always. Yeah, they've always not been twenty four hours. They've always been every like eight hours or so. Um, since Legion. Um, but. It, when they pop up, they will last 24 hours, so if you log on and do them at the same time each day, you will not ever miss one. Um, because by the time, like, anything you haven't done will have only spawned since you did them last kind of thing. But if you do it one a set in the morning and then a set at night, you'll have missed stuff that was spawning during, like, the, the eight hours after you did them the first time. So you're winning always, Rice. I hope you're winning too. Just changing it again. It's too many one Of course, yeah.
Bottle empty. Mm -hmm. Just have to recraft later anyway. Um, I would say braces and then have to recraft later anyway. Simply because you get the most of the mats back when you destroy it to recraft on the other slot. Um, and that way, although, hmm. If you do it on gloves and then you have gloves drop, you can always destroy them and craft them on a different slot anyway. So yeah, actually, no gloves. Because then there's a chance that gloves are the last ones you get. But there's no chance that braces are going to be the last one you get because they, they're not a thing that you get at all. Gloves. I talk myself out of my opinion. I actually do that a fair bit. Like, I'll say, I'll be like, yes, this is absolutely the right choice. And then I'll start saying it and it'll not be the right decision at all. <laughs> so, Ow! Azeroth's hero has come to play. You will fail yet again. Hold on, I've got you. To the skies! Mm. Strike at the heart! Ali! Hi, the sun will. Thank you so much for the seven gifted subs, my lord. Hi, the sun will. That is so generous of you. I am Thank you very much for the welcome to back. To our friends up there. Hi, the sun will. So generous. I hope that you're well. Congratulations to everyone who got caught in the gift sub. Bum. Ah, you've gifted 101 Hi, subs in the channel, my lord. That's amazing. Holy cow. Look at your beautiful, but your, your beautiful, uh, gift badge. Hi, the sun Hello, Zem. You didn't watch your take today? Yes! I'm so pleased it's arrived. Um, Kay, Kay got theirs today too. That's awesome. must remember to bring more next time. No! She was the last decoy. Hi, the sun well. Really better today. Yeah, um, physically, miles better. Um, like, my throat still hurts, but not nearly as badly as it did. Uh, I can drink water, yay. Uh, um, but I am, I am just so drained. I had a bottle of uh, vanilla coke earlier today because I was just, I was so tired. I had no energy to do literally anything. So, um, and I don't drink much stuff with caffeine in it, so it helped like a lot, surprisingly. Um, well, not surprisingly to me, but like, and, and a lot of people, you know, coke doesn't really do much for them because it's not enough caffeine. Uh, but because I don't drink anything with caffeine in it, it was huge help. But yeah, so I'm just, I'm hoping that I'll not be wrecked soon. <laughs> I would really like for my body to move past that bit. But we'll see how we go. <clears throat> yeah, I can. Day at a time, exactly, Zem. That's that's uh, that's exactly it. I'm just trying to take oh fuck, I'm trying to take it a day at a time, and just uh, hopefully we'll get there sooner rather than later. Because I've got a to-do list to start whittling away. <clears throat> So I gotta dodge those. <laughs> oh no. Oh dear. <clears throat> oh 
like a, a run command you can do I think to check how far along you are but I think it's more fun when you're like oh look it's day it's the last day and it's like a surprise when you get it like today when I hit exalted with um, Storm's Wake and bought the two mounts like it was like yay we're there it was a surprise you know I don't know that's maybe just me <clears throat> Like surprises. It was a good feeling. It was a really good feeling. I can feel one of my lashes coming off. This is a new set of lashes. Because um, the old ones were definitely not what they used to be. Uh, and these ones are not sticking particularly well. Like the bands are really, really, really flexible, but they're also teeny tiny thin. So there's not much place for you to like put glue on for it to adhere, so there's not a whole lot of glue. But then as the glue builds up a little bit, it provides you more surface area to apply a larger amount of glue if that so it sticks a bit better. Or maybe that's just me being shitty at lashes, but um The most won't gather for a final assault. All forces, rally to me! Pitiful fame. You've already lost. For Queen and Grove! <clears throat> So skip Corthia, skip to Corthia uh, gives you the first three chapters. So I want to do the first three chapters to see how long it takes. <clears throat> Just see how we go. This mug set's nice. Well done. Is this the one you sensed, Lady Moonberry? No. <clears throat> Something far more menacing approaches. This ends now.
Oh nein, nimm mal. I'm sorry. Did you need some rest, my dear one? Fall gently into dreamless slumber. We should report to the queen. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> the wild seeds. Let's pop that on, shall we? Sacred charge rooms of all. I concealed my sigil within the heart of the forest, where it could be best protected. And now it's gone. I fear we may be too late. Despite the courage shown by the Covenant oh, excuse defending me. Ardenweald, Zuval has claimed the prize he sought. There is nothing more to be done here. Return to Oribos, mortal. Returning to Oribos. This day will be remembered in the rings. I think that's chapter one done, yeah? <clears throat> Once it's turned in. up to on the druid um so there was an update to the data for azeroth stuff since the last mount farm monday and i was like so do we just keep going with what i had planned or do we update my list of stuff to do and uh the vote was overwhelmingly for we update the list of stuff to do um so i updated it and one of the things on there is the escaped wildling in corthia which is the night fair in mount so i'm having to get my night fay druid into and I didn't want to do the skip because there was a whole lot more to like, there's a whole lot of stuff that you actually get that I wanted and I didn't think it's going to take that long so I'm uh, keeping an eye on how long it's taking me to, to get to into Corsia how much time is actually saved by doing the skip. It has allowed you to lead some of your allies to safety. I will create an anchor to your anima here in Oribos. How long's left of the stream? Ah, uh, well, it says that in the schedule. We always go to the same time of night. Um, so it's a, uh, we're about halfway through, I think. This bond will enable our covenant forces to. Paladin, what are you doing? Look, you. Just as you could, I will create the anchor. Go now and find. All right, so one chapter is completed. Uh, we're now working on chapter two of Corthia. We will defend Oribos from the Chamber's forces. Hurry, Morwalker. The enemy's strength is growing. Show up. The jailer has used <clears throat> enormous I possess a device that will uh, Meaty, Draz, Zam, Zem, Koala, Dan, Dunno, Fade, and Seeker. Once we arrive, Congratulations to all of you. That you stay On your close. bonus shit. Oh, it's the skin chest. So we've got a couple of very, very cute skins uh, to, to grab from this one. And this is the day. Well, I mean, unless you play with other captains, this is the first day I've done this uh, event, so. If you play with other captains, this will not be your first chance at those skins, but if you don't, it is. No buffing assists, none of them. Oh, good lord. Okay. Assists from buffing is a lie. 
Uh, I don't want to drop my monk, but I'm going to, just to see if I can get that done. <clears throat> There's my battle plans. Alright. Faster, faster! Animal flow teleporter, let's go! <clears throat> Reports are intercepted from the more sworn indicating the jailer has been seeking a relic. We finish Gorthia. Well, I'm not going to do the entirety of Gorthia, just up to chapter Gorthia three. Brokers whisper legends of this place, a magnificent city filled with treasures. Its location, a closely guarded secret. I want to see how much time the skip actually Earth. saves. No doubt the jailer. For how much it um, sacrifices upon this place. I have the means to keep us hidden, as I have before. I, especially for tunes that are under gear in the weapon department. And obey my every word, lest the jailers Giving up a 187 might be like a stitcher. big thing. Although now with um, 9.2 happening, maybe it's not such a big deal. But the 4 Renown is pretty tasty too. <clears throat> oh, I have to follow Venari. Oops. That bit. Ah, my new partner. Let us be uncomfortably close to the jailer's <clears throat> forces. Stay near me. <laughs> yep, so that year, uh, before I started my birthday marathon stream on that day, I uh, I went to my local bubble tea joint. Uh, actually, not the local one. It was one further than the local one. And I picked up three bubble teas to drink throughout the day. Unfortunately, the third one, by the time I got to it, was a little bit not great. <laughs> um, but nowadays, I don't have to purchase myself a bubble tea supply because I have my DIY stuff from the bubble tea club in the pantry. Which, by the way, I've noticed a few... Uh, an uptick in people ordering from bubble tea club with my referral code. So thank you so much to everyone who's been doing that. Helping me pay my dentistry bills. Much appreciated. Spider, yep. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, but I mean, hey, I'm, I'm doing the same thing, just like craft them as I can sort of thing. Makes sense. All mysteries will be revealed. I trust you and I'm oh, a out. Or is it just this is how long it's taking for the um, cutscene to play out, maybe? Better than no 3D printing. Exactly. Of interest, Mawalker. I have limitless time. Stay close, Mawalker. When if you're saying stay close, let's move. I remember this being bugged slash taking a while last time. to be bugging after the cutscene ends. If she doesn't move after the scene ends, just hang tight for a few minutes, four to five-ish, and she'll start moving again. <clears throat> but apparently it does that even if you watch the cutscene. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's, uh, look, sometimes it bugs out, sometimes it doesn't. Maybe.
Stay close. I need to even click up like that. The van of the train or to waste your breath. Stay close, more walker. She's supposed to say that and then start walking. <clears throat> you can literally click off the eye of the jailer buff. It's a buff, not a debuff. That is ridiculous. Hilarious. Ridiculous. Do you feel the more staring at your mind? Be uncomfortably close to the jailer's forces. Stay near me. <clears throat> Stay close, more walker. Okay, this is now broken. Good. Wonderful. Stay close, more walker. <sighs> and then I've clicked off the debuff. I can't get it back either to kill me, to restart. <clears throat> Amazing. Cool. Was not meant to happen she was supposed to <sighs> i think i abandoned it too fast all right super fun happy times i really care about my stitcher that's that's fine um <clears throat> she's smart to them yeah except I broke it I trust you are not followed I possess a device that will take us to a safe enclave near this landmass once we arrive it is an interceptor from the most close indicate that the jailer has been seeking a realm called Cortia. My fellow brokers whispered legends of this place, a magnificent city, filled with treasures, its location a closely guarded secret. Be on alert. No doubt the Jailer's eye will be upon this place. I have the means to keep us hidden, as I have before. Stay close, and obey my every word. Does the jailer's eye reduce <clears throat> you to stitches? Bugs which resulted in even more bugs, yep. It's like when you squish a spider but it was carrying babies on its back. I have limitless time. We will be uncomfortably close to the jailer's forces. Stay near me. No 
There must be strong magic in Kothia if it keeps the eye at bay. Perhaps the legends are true. I'm gonna watch it this time. Ah. <sighs> reach our destination before my cloak dissipates. Oh, and watch your step. Either way, it was a good fight. I enjoyed that. Stay close, more walker. I'm close. I'm just walking through swirlies. <clears throat> Stop. Stay close, more walker. Yeah, of course. Understandable. Move. <clears throat> it seems Corthia is shielded against the eye of the jailer. But his more swans are breaching its defenses. We made it. Imagine the wonders oh, to be found my here, partner. Oh, Let and that's how long your this will last. Be back in a second. Hmm. Now that is interesting. I detect attendants nearby, like those in Oribus. Perhaps they are the caretakers of Cortia's treasures. You go on ahead. I will linger here. To ensure no enemies have trailed us, of course.
What did he do? Like you, oh no. It was a jazz. He delivered some delicious, delightful bubble tea. Um, sorry about that. Um, I'm sure everyone kind of knows that feeling when all of a sudden your belly hurts and you're like, I need to go. It just, oh, it felt like I'd been stabbed. Increase like it felt like a blade in my belly and I was like, mm, nope. So I don't know what happened there. I'm so sorry. Um, but I'm good. I'm fine. Everything's okay. Um, please do something. What did he do? Not hand chair, you suck hand Freaking chair's eyes! You poked chair at the eyes? I have studied the How cruel! Oh, he couldn't figure out how to unmute the mic, could he? Is fear okay? Fear is totally okay. Um... You, d you did not... You, um... There is much to be done. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. Just, just a bit of a tummy ache, um, but I think, so this is I think I'm all good now. Hmm. I expect Make respite in your home. I don't want to. <clears throat> but, oh, oh, no, I won't. But yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I'm okay now. I'm just, um, yeah, that was, that kind of came out of nowhere and instantaneously was like, pain time! So, yeah, I, I don't know, it's, uh... Uh, it's sad. Uh, speak with Targalan near the inert waystone. Oh, here we go. They're doing the walkie-talkie thing. Um, did that feel well? Yeah, and it just, it came, I'm like, did, was it the lasagna? Like, I would have anticipated it more to be all the, like, yogurt and milk, because I've been having a fair bit of yogurt and then drinking milk because it helped my throat and yogurt's soft so I can eat it easily. So, but that, sh that would have been a while ago, not now, but yeah, I, I don't know, it's, yeah, a bit strange. That's okay. About two hours after Taco Bell! Oh my god, purse. Pur like, okay. One time, there is this shop that does a particular type of takeout that is just, it's really quite unique. Um, I don't really want to talk about where it is, because it'll help you pinpoint my location and stuff, but all you need to know is that it's really fucking good um expensive but like well priced for what it is because it's good food um but i can't go there anymore i had a, a, one of the things that they do involves uh mincemeat with some other with some other ingredients obviously but one of the things they do is mincemeat um in like a, a saucy type thing and it was delicious it was just oh it smelled so good and it was so tasty and it was just so good and then about five oh maybe four or five hours later yep the problem is it smelled identical identical to this particular dish and i was like firstly I have a feeling I know what caused this, <laughs> but also I can't, I can't ever have it ever again. Because as soon as I smell it, going near the place, smelling the smells that come out of the place, instantly makes my gut hurt. Because of the, I'm, it's terrible, fucking terrible. I'm trying to, I'm trying to give all this information as as delicately as I can. Uh, I'm seeing a new chair. Old chair is rejected. No, old ch the chair is never rejected. Chair is just getting a, a makeover. Go with the <clears throat> Much of my knowledge is purely academic. <clears throat> I must explore. That she thinks I did something wrong always. Always. Oh, yes, old chair, you did. Chair 1.0 in our hearts oh, always. Yes. I was actually, like, I was wondering how reasonable it would be to keep this chair as well. Because I think the most amazing thing would be to get, like, a dining table and have, like, like, like racing chairs as, like, the dining chairs. Oh, it would be amazing. It would be so good. 
Ah, uh, shoot, well, I do. I'm back, any mount drops? Yeah, we actually bought, we purchased two mounts near the start of stream. Uh, but it was because I hit Exalted with Storm's Wake. So I was able to buy them. I'm very happy. The uh, Devo, I know, right? I know. Is it a blame you? Yeah. <laughs> Yummy, right? Like, I. Oh. Have you come yeah. to yeah, I should be lighting for the dining table. Uh, that can totally be done. Lighting strips are actually pretty cheap now. Um, panels and stuff not so much, but just like a strip um, that isn't programmable beyond just like make rainbow happen. Um, yeah, it's fine. That's thank you. Entirely possible, exactly. Super easy. Just get a glass dining table from IKEA and like put the put the lights in there. Done. Mm. Delicious. The Mall Walker returns. The second waystone has been found. I think it was uh, it was time to replace the uh I think it was time to replace the kettle jazz, because that tastes like Pure or something. I don't know, it's weird. Les with the Prime Gaming sub 12 months a whole ass year does it feel like a year thank you so much for your ongoing support and your generosity happy one year happy anniversary today well technically i hate to be that person but technically this is the 11th month um that you've just finished and this is the beginning of the 12th month but screw it we'll call it 12. good and there's no need so much longer it's like right it feels like it feels like nothing but also like everything yeah, it's great. It's great. You My dear Frost, the glass top with lights under me. Oh. My god, it'll be good. Hang on. <clears throat> I don't think I'm even going to need to fucking frost it. I'm sure that they would have a frosted glass table. More, Walker. The time has come to resume our pursuit of the Jailer. I await you in Ouroboros. All right, so take me with you. Color. What? 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 White? No, those are literally white. I need. I want glass. Uh, glass table. <clears throat> That's not glass. Oh, it must have a sheet of glass. Oh, it does. It has a sheet on, of glass on top to make it shiny and pretty. All right, uh -oh. you have my attention. Category. Um. Features. None of these are helpful. Um, it might have to be outdoor furniture. That'd be hilarious. Let's try kitchenware and tableware and see what that As says. You were. Nope, that's literally jugs. Um, wait, no, that's. Oh, show more. That's not 24 results. Oh, there we go. <laughs> now it is. Yeah, it's literally glasses. Um, so not that one then. Let's try tables and desks. Yeah, these are all like side tables and shit. Not what I was after. Let's try. What knowledge do you see? Neither of those are. Uh, again, it's like a it's like a woven table that it has a glass pane a pane on top to make it easier to clean. How may I assist you? Oh, starting final reading. 
<clears throat> ah, dearie me. Look, I can probably figure it out. Might have to DIY it. Oh. Am I away this evening? Yeah. Yeah, alright. Um, drained as hell, but uh, doing better than I have been. Uh, just tired, I think. But I mean, I am also, you know, one week out from surgery, so... It is, uh, it is what it is. Let's make up my greeting. ETT sounds brilliant. Doing better today. Me too. I can actually talk today. Uh, so that's an improvement in the last few days, for sure. Oh my god, shut up. <laughs> Kill arms. State your purpose. Hmm. <clears throat> Oh, it's um one week out, as in it was last Monday. Um, so sorry, my bad. As in, like, yeah, I'm a week post surgery, so it makes sense that I'm fucked. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Um, had some uh, anesthesia side effects, uh, ulcers, all like the back of my throat and stuff from the laryngoscope and, and stuff. So yeah, I. It was it was not a super fun time, but uh, they're they're on the they're on the way to healing and um. Yeah, I'm just wrecked. I'm just wrecked. Where'd you go? Nah. Nah. Done. A week ago. No more surgery. Fingers crossed, of course, but no more no more surgery. Um, at least for this particular thing. Is it fun at all? Nah, it's not. It's a it's a fairly textbook, like, um, if you're gonna get side effects from anesthesia, um, like damage to the mucosal membranes in the back of the neck is is pretty common. Um it's not like, you know, not everyone gets it, obviously, but it's not, like, so untoward. Uh, Kay, Draz, and Ali, congratulations on your bonus shit. Um, I hope people got skins. I didn't even, I did not even check. Did I get a skin? No. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Make sure you place your units. Bam, there you go. In chat, place those units. Um... I've still got no assists from buffing. Let me try the flag bearer again. Let's see how we go. I'm in hospital and not knowing why. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's not a nice feeling. And there's no, especially when you don't know what's wrong, there's not really a way that you can soften that blow. Like, I mean, I remember when my brother rode off his car and mum called and was like, your brother's okay, but he rode off his car, you know what I mean? So like, it, you know, you can soften the blow by leading with that, but if you genuinely have no idea what's wrong, you, there's no way to soften that blow and the information needs to be delivered. Like, there's, there's no way around that. Um, but yeah, I hope... I hope mum's okay. hope everything's... Uh, uh, Battlelines, yeah, of course. Give me just a second. Bam! Enjoy. Also medication, antibiotics, perfect. But isn't it strange how the body can refer pain to other places? Like, why? What you, what you are doing is not helpful. If my arm hurts, then... I feel like there's something wrong with my arm. And you're distracting from the thing that's actually wrong. What are you doing? Stop it. Uh, look, bodies are fantastic. Bodies are an actual miracle, literally. Like, the fact that everything just so happens to develop in the right places and, and uh, work in, in, you know, a large proportion of people uh, is, is miraculous. It's absolutely, like, just redonkulous. But some of the stuff that the bodies do is it's really thought provoking <laughs> to put it kindly. We should just oh, of course, absolutely. And that's the right thing to do. You treat it like it's the most serious thing it could possibly be so that when it isn't, you haven't fucked up. 
<laughs> Absolutely. Ah! Ali! Thank you so much for purchasing a Fiamma Shadow Flying Rogue skin. I hope you enjoy it. I think that's two points towards our 100 to unlock a spring variant. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. It is such a beautiful skin. It's a super fun, um, uh, super fun variant as well. I love the red and the black. Yeah, um, Stream Raiders have a, a like a long weekend event on at the moment. Um, if we rack up a hundred skin points before March thirty first, so I think we'll have Wednesday to do it as well. But that'll be that. Um, but if we rack up a hundred skin points between now and then, we get a full skin, a spring variant. So it's like a neon green with like a pink glowy around the edges. Uh, of any of the full uh, full skin, so it doesn't have to be the bird. It can be if we want it to be, um, but like I would absolutely let you guys vote on um, whichever whichever skin you would like to see in green and pink. If we get there, which look, um, yeah. <laughs> um, it's like what? Yeah, I know, right? It's like, excuse me, excuse me. More serious? I don't know. Absolutely, absolutely. Hi Scarlet, how you doing? The hospital found on the floor. Jesus Christ, that's not good. Oh, Ali, with five gifted skins. Oh, that is so generous of you. Thank you so much. Congratulations to everyone who got caught in the skin bomb. I hope you got a beautiful skin that you enjoy and show off with happiness. It said it's not nice news. No, absolutely not. Just like, they're not knowing. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But I mean, you know, all you can sort of hope is that, you know, they're in good hands and they'll do everything they can to figure out what's wrong and then treat it. And, and you know, like you said, treating it as the most serious thing it can be is always a, like, it's scary to have your loved one treated for a cardiac issue, even when it turns out not to be. But knowing that that's the first thing that they go to in case it's that serious is just that's a really good thing for them to do i i yeah it's a good sign it shows that they actually care you know that they're not just writing it off as oh no it'll be fine it's just a random pain you'll be fine um <clears throat> oh, this ends. oh well done scarlet oh i actually got the thing finally good it's ready Shut a bit of shock, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, we start, your mother is okay. The guy you fought is not. High five, sweet. No, no. When when mum said he's okay, my next thing was, what did he do for you to have to tell me he's okay? For you to lead with he's okay. Um, but yeah, I'm just I'm just glad he's all right. Your desire is my command. I'm just glad he's all right. I actually have to. How am I still not done with the second chapter? Okay. Mm -mm. Um. Jeez. Oh, Interesting. Yeah, it's always it's. Look, it is super tough to. I suppose I... With with Amber stuff like. Depend, like, you know, they ask the right questions over the phone, you get the right information to them, and then they, if they have multiple calls coming through at the same time, they have to figure out who's most at risk of falling over. You know, like, it's, and it, I can't imagine having to be the person who has to make those calls. Because no doubt, some of those calls result in people not making it, especially if the people on the phone don't know how to give the right medical information. Like, if they're asking a question, but they're not understanding it quite right, or they're not giving the full thing because the person actually on the phone thinks it's not that big a deal, or what, do you know what I mean? Like, that they can only operate with the info they're given. So, it sounds like at least they thought it, like, you know, they treated it as a cardiac issue, but a mild enough cardiac issue that it wasn't, we need to get there in 30 seconds. Um, or, of course, distance from where the ambulances are definitely doesn't help um, traffic and bullshit. I mean, people, like, obviously, you know, if there's traffic, they can get through it, but if people don't pull over, there's nothing they can do, all that sort of stuff. But, yeah, it's, um, oh, that's interesting. Um... Oh. 
Well, that just, it's a language thing. Um. <laughs> oh, Purse, rest well. I hope you rest well, Purse. Skin, yay, for 11 minutes was so fast. Oh, good, good. Okay, I honestly have not ever had to call an ambulance. So I don't know what reasonable, like I know that there are things that can happen that 11 minutes they're well and truly gone. Like I, I know that that's a thing, but I, I have no idea how long they usually take, but I have no doubt that there are all sorts of, dis you know what I mean? Like it's, yeah, it's fun times. Just pain, just like to sleep with the worst. Ambulance can be in a car. This must be seriously not okay. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, also, like the the arm pain, like arm and chest pain, is, you know, touted as this is a heart attack. Um, that's a heart attack for men. Uh female symptoms of a heart attack, totally completely different. Not the same. Fun facts. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, but of course they don't they don't talk about that because everything's the the patriarchy. Woo. Um, so, so everything is framed as uh, like this is what it feels like because this is how men feel it. So it must be how women feel it too. Um, but it's absolutely not. Um, Totally different. For also, another fun fact that I, I found out in the last kind of week or so while doing nothing but trawling on my phone because I can't do anything else, is that there was a male contraceptive pill that was in testing uh, fairly recently, in terms of like medical stuff, fairly recently. Um, and they, after a, a few rounds of testing, they decided to not pursue uh, because they were experiencing too many side effects. The side effects that they experienced included depression, anxiety, weight gain, and mood fluctuations. You know, just the exact symptoms that women on birth control have been dealing with since it was fucking invented. But no, no, that's too much for men to deal with. Can't do that. Like, that's not even funny. That's just so fucked up. It's unbelievable. Like, is it okay for me to change my bodily chemistry in order to not get pregnant? <laughs> but the moment, but the moment somebody of the opposite gender experiences the exact same symptoms as I do for changing their bodily chemistry in the same fucking way, you're not. If you ever wonder how much your gender is valued by society. Easy fun way to find out. <clears throat> knock knock. We originally the situation I just freeze. Only women are different? Yep, Google it. Uh, women's symptoms of a heart attack are different. Um, ready once you've dialed the number. Um, it's also one of those things where you genuinely, like, until you've been in that kind of emergency situation, I don't think any of us would know how we'd react. Maybe you freeze when it's an emergency that's not life-threatening, but then as soon as, like, for example, if it was a loved one who was having the emergency, you might find that that preservation instinct kicks in um, and, and kind of, you know what I mean? But it, like, if it's your life at risk, you'd react differently to if it was somebody else's life and depending on who it was and all that, you know what I mean? It's, uh, you never know until you're there and I hope you never find out. And I mean that in the best of ways. Yeah, I'm sure they go. Yeah, it's really important to know how your body may, re and of course then, even then, you know, it's all a little bit different. Like every single human is going to experience things like that just slightly differently. But it's, yeah, it is always good to know what the baseline is supposed to be for you. Um, I'm going to work on Friday. 
funny that, yeah, huh? Some side effects from experience, yep. Yep. So stupid, yep. It's like, it's to the point now where it's not even funny, hey? It's just anger inspiring. Whatever. It's not like, you know, I already have fucking cyclothymic disorder and an autoimmune condition and blah 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 blah. Maybe if I wasn't on birth control, some of those symptoms may be alleviated somewhat. But like, you know, okay, I guess. Ah, <sighs> God. And look. Just because, like, granted, there'd be a whole lot of people, there are a whole lot of people out there who don't want to or can't uh, have hormonal contraceptive. And I'm sure there'd be a whole lot of people of any gender, if it was available, who would choose not to or who couldn't for whatever reason. But the more options we have, the better, right? Surely. And if the symptoms are the same on both ends of the spectrum, Maybe let the humans make an educated decision on whether or not they want, like, who in their relationship they would like, because obviously in this particular case we are talking about heterosexual couples. Um, it is highly unlikely that a non-heterosexual couple will make a baby without some extraordinary effort. Uh, like, go you if, like, whew, but, like, Biologically speaking, this particular thing probably only applies to heterosexual couples, right? I'm not sure, genuinely. I've never been in a non-heterosexual relationship, so I wouldn't know. But, like, maybe give the people the choice as to who experiences those side effects. Like, if it's going to be the same thing, let us make the decision. Good lord. Anyway. <clears throat> So you're doing well. Hey, Apathy, how you doing? Welcome back. You've been valuable. Well, yeah, look. It, I'm definitely doing better than I was. Super, not super great, but better than I was. It's like... Waiting until they know I'm gonna die so they can take the tag. Um, if we can... Yeah, that's not good. Oh no. Should we till Thursday? Well done, Apathy. Well done. Look at you go. Fantastic. Uh, what am I doing? <clears throat> Okay, good. Not going for the one in the middle there. That's gonna suck. Mm -hmm. Almost ready. Well done, Scarlet. Congratulations. Well, not necessarily, Zam, because if it's like. I have- how many side effects do you think I have from all of my various medications? But I need to take them to get the outcome I want. So you have to suffer through them. Just grow up, you know? Like it's... <laughs> Obviously if they're absolutely terrible, then yes, you need to speak to your medical professional about changing to a different type of medication. But... Birth control stuff? Tell you what, I've been doing a hell of a lot worse with a baby. Oh, right, the keys. I forgot about those. Gosh, it was so long ago. Um. Gastro, yeah, I can imagine. Oh dear. Our 
Archon's light shine upon you. That was, yeah, I've had it a few times. Um, I fire for susceptibility. But yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's not a fun time. Not a fun time. Resub, eleven months. My goodness, thank you so much for your ongoing support and generosity. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Ah, uh, you can use your distant healing spells to get the mob sealed, right? No idea. No idea. That's okay. If I take him on one at a time, I'm alright. It's just because this druid is like massively undergeared. Uh, but that's the last one I need anyway, so it does not really matter. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I guess I'm so used to doing this kind of endgame stuff on my mage that I don't even think about whether or not that's a possibility, because, I, like, <laughs> I'm a mage, I don't have healing or, or any, do you know? Fun times. Fun times, but possibly, quite possibly. If anyone else is doing that on, on a druid, then yeah, for sure, give it a go. But I am done. I hope you're doing wonderfully well. Welcome back. Actually, that's a path. I can go fast now. Um, is enlightened? Well done. Done. I'm pretty sure I'm not even close to that. That's okay. I've had. I can learn to be <laughs> humble. Had some higher priorities. I'm okay with that. You bear interesting craft. I'm okay with being behind when it's uh. It's because of health things. <clears throat> you have my attention. Shardhide leather braces, and that is in fact new transmog. I will aid you as best I can. What news do you bring? There we go. So that was chapter two. So this is now chapter three that we're gonna do. Do you feel the more staring at your mind? We have need of open space, but not too exposed to prying eyes. This will do. Now, more. Um, more. kindly activate the device with a touch of your. Uh, have you got the? Have you got the lore master quest for Eversong Care? Uh, it worked, as I knew it would. <coughs> of course. <clears throat> oh dear, I seem to have left my. Damn, at least. Um, you'll have to check the actual Hurry the tooltip. Check the tooltip to for the uh, contract that you're using. Um, if it specifically states world quests, um, then probs dot. Um, it actually, it displays, if you're doing a daily and you've got a contract on, it displays a second line of reputation. It doesn't put it all together, and so it doesn't feel like it's going up faster. It actually has two separate lines so that you know that it's working. Um, oh, did I? Oh, okay. I don't know I'm supposed to fly back. <laughs> but yeah, that's a... Uh, um, so yeah, check if you've done the Eversong Woods Lore Master already. If you haven't, do Eversong. Tick it off. Get the points. If you have done it already, the question is, are you leveling for speed or for fun? 
if you want to level quickly, go talk to Krumi. Um, other option, uh, other thing while you're there in, in Eversong slash ATT mini, see if there's any transmog from quests you, you haven't got yet. I just you can knock them over now, but you, you can also come, come back we later and get them do. much, much easier. Um, cause you can, you know, one shot little mobs. But, uh, yeah, so those would, those would be the considerations that I'd, uh, have a look at. And Lord Master, ah, uh, underquests. Find anything of interest more In your often. achievements. Underquests. A very profitable F. You were transferred, yes? Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh, drink the reputation, get to exalted easily while still leveling. Yeah, true. I've made an adjustment to the device to modify the destination coordinates. Um, you can also type the zone name into the search box and it should come up. Because all the achievements are named after the zone that you're in. Excuse me. Yes. Yeah, explore is under exploration, um, and you'll have all that there. It should be under quests, and then you go to where it is, and you'll have all the individual like ghostlands, swamp sorrows, get strangled on, etc. Is Calum? Maybe there isn't one. Should be. Oh, it's Eversong, not Silversong. Good lord. That's super strange. Is there not one for Eversong? That's interesting. I didn't realise that. I never noticed. But yeah, check your ATT. See if there's anything you're missing. Locations that are near creatures of interest, but not in plain sight of them. Whatever's on there. Yeah, that's super strange. I, uh, I have learned something new today. I genuinely did not know that that was not a thing. My apologies. Ah. I am receiving. <clears throat> the signal is very poor. Find a new location to relay. Ah, uh, it's uh learning new things. Educational streams with fear. Better. But still yeah, I got them all done such a long time <laughs> ago that, uh, yeah, I didn't even realize. Because I, I, um, I did Lore Master before it had the individual ones, and then when they split it up, there were a whole bunch of those that I didn't have. So I went back through and got them again. Um, like, got those zones that I was still missing. But yeah, it's, uh, that's super interesting. Thank you for learning, indeed. Tranquilin isn't that Ghostlands. Yes. Yeah, so Tranquillin is the rep. Um, Ghostlands is the zone. Are those glittering objects feathers? Let's <clears throat> mm, just assume. Thank you, Dunno. Rest well. We'll see you next time. I can't explore ones for any of the starting zones. There was Explore Ever Song Woods. There wasn't a Lore Master. No Lore Master for it. But I'm pretty sure there's Lore Master for, um, like, uh, what's it called? The human one. <laughs> Elwyn. Oh, although, maybe that's because I'm not an alliance at the moment. Like, the Elwyn one being missing. But yeah, it could just be that there's no lore master for starting zones. Because it's, like, race-locked, a lot of those um, quests. Maybe that's why. I don't think there are, like, any quests that any other Horde races can do in Elso uh, Eversong, so... That would make a whole lot of sense. <laughs> mm -mm. 
becomes the main city rep instead. What? Uh, that doesn't make sense. There isn't the lawmaster. What has lawmaster got to do with the rep chief? I'm a bit confused. Sorry. Are you worthy of all these games? Ooh. Skyhold. Up, really. I was uncertain that I'd ever set eyes upon the glory of Odin's Hall again, Mowalker. My poor sisters. I have a feeling it's just Lord there's no lawmaster here because 80% of the quests are race locked. So you'd have to make a character of race X to be able to get it, so we're just not going to make it. I don't think it's become anything else or, or anything not like that. Paladin! Uh... <laughs> Paladin, this is the warrior order hall from Legion. No, it's not Paladin. This is Warrior. Danica, tell me of this victory and the foe that would dare in the one Clearly nothing. If you had actually kept playing through Legion. My sisters and I were ambushed by Mosworth. I will trust every Valkyr you send Odin. We come bearing a message from that accursed witch. Deliver. Here we go. Hate-hate relationship. I remember this, but I didn't realize this was chapter three. But her venomous words and deeds never cease to vex me. Okay. Zam, Ali, Dan, Draz, and Cade. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shits. On ooh. Mystery VHS. Yeah, let's do it. It's a little dangerous though. Oh no, spooks! I was instant of must have just checked. Yeah, it makes sense though. Like once I actually realized why it makes sense. Still no assist from buffing. I, that can't be right. Maybe it's just hiding them? No? None. Uh. And it even has a picture of a flag bearer. So I'm going to put the flag bearer down again. And just like... First. There you go.
Oh, Master's of Vagina, well done! Nice! Not a bad place to be starting from. Mage is the best for buffing assists, really? Interesting. Alright, I'll have to give them a go next round. Good. I remember. Well, tell the horn of challenge. You are chosen to serve Odin's wrath. Go now to his side. But, ah. Uh. Monk? Yeah, I used a monk before and still got zero. <laughs> Welcome back, Lucky. If you're well, even if your internet is not. <clears throat> So that's what won. Oh, you lack discipline. Victory is not yours this day. Wait, that still says zero out of five. Do I need to? Another <laughs> seeks to claim their glory. Prepare for battle. <gasps> I may have just hit that button at the very wrong time. Because I seem to have hit it as somebody else is finishing their challenge. <clears throat> oh, awesome! Good to hear. Plus 50 on both sides, fair. Still zero of five. Why do I? Is he talking to me or? Another seeks to claim their glory. <clears throat> Prepare for battle. Have you brought after her defeat? I thought we'd seen the last of Helia's treachery. But her venomous words and deeds never cease to vex me. So I defeated two of them and neither of them counted. I wonder if I did something wrong. Oh, you are here. Sound the horn of challenge to begin. Zero of three Valkyr chosen. Another seeks to claim Do I need to keep killing them until he picks one as good or something? Considering Odin told me to, cho to choose the Valkyrie, it was annoying to have Weapon Master Asvar dismiss people perfectly fit for my quest objectives. <laughs> yeah. So you just want to keep killing them. And he won't- he just picks them randomly. Five or six. Five kills, I finally got credit for one. Ugh. This is stupid. Your know, wise weapon master Asvard choosing instead of us. Why are these chosen Valkyrie so weak? We can easily defeat them in seconds. 
Odin should send out his elite Valkyrie in Mythic Plus Dungeons. We should be the one getting owned by the challenges instead. There's one comment that says jump out and back in and then they start counting, but I don't know how valid that is, so let's see. Another seeks to claim their glory. Prepare for battle. Go to the Circle of Glory and fight the Valkyrie to determine which are most worthy. Ugh. before we go into the arena, I mean, no. Nope. It becomes one of the chosen when you defeat it and they're Another deemed worthy. It's very silly. But it's fine. Fight. I serve a That's two or three. Well fought. You are chosen to serve Odin's wrath. Go now to his side. So confusing. It's just silly. It's like killer. It looks like a bug. It looks like a bug. Another seeks to claim their glory. Prepare for battle. This has got nothing to do with leveling. You can't do this till you're level 60. I didn't think. I, didn't, I Even if you're doing Threads of Fate, I thought that you had to be 60 to be able to access Kulthia. Done. Three or three. Bastards. Oi! You are chosen to serve Odin's wrath. Go now to Oh, well, shortcut. Oh, I have to turn it in down here. God damn it. I have left the circle of glory. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, there's no there's no minimum, it's just silly. It's Obviously a weirdly randomized thing, but there's a trick to get it to count every time or something. Or I was just really like lucky with that last round all counting. My Valijar. <clears throat> it's fine. It is what it is. Behold the Ilska horn. Crafted in mm -hmm. the fires of my you shouldn't forge, be able to yourself and beating yourself at the edges of your brain. Look. <laughs> I'm glad you found it entertaining, Lucky. Glad I could provide entertainment for just at least one person this evening. My eye will be compelled to focus upon them. Danica, you shall lead. Become the wrath of Odin and embody my fury. Wield my rage against my enemies. Mortal, you will bear Ilska Horn to the maw. Give it a voice to pierce the veil and unleash my vengeance. Oh, no, I didn't intend to jump off the edge. Um, <laughs> it was absolutely an accident, but hey, if it provides for entertainment, that's all that matters. See, it says jump into the portal, but I don't quite trust it right now. I love that there's an invisible wall everywhere except for this tiny little section. 
The greatest fighter beat you all. Remember this lesson. Jumps off cliff. Correct. I feel like it belongs in like a, a Disney movie of some kind. Oh. You will suck. Bye. Yep. Yeah. That's it. Can I? Come on. Thump me to the ground. Let's get going. Oh, it just, it didn't. Good. You're wrong, lever. Mm. Mm. The true champion. Always and forever. You even have that level. Find anything of interest, more Walker. Uh, consult. How do I buy this one? What an admirably specific question. The answer to which I can only hype To the river of souls you must go. Gorgoa flows through the maw, delivering mm. damn souls. Well, we shouldn't be in that level. Dear. No one's against me. Yep. Yep. Undefeated. Leapt to own death. Maybe you should. It's a good one. Does it have to be? Okay. Right, I see. So I don't actually have to kill them. I don't know how high it buffs it. Bring sound effect? Yeah. Yeah, it's uh. It's sound effect, alright. Okay, so that's those done. It's gonna drain a couple of these and we'll be good. <clears throat> um 
so we get upgrade buffs now. I, I didn't I didn't know about that honestly, so um I can't tell you whether it's worth it or not, unfortunately. But yeah, like it should tell you on the item, like on the on the upgrade item. Like upgrades, time walking, gear up to eye level, blah 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 blah. And that eye level should be able to tell you whether it'll be comparable to ZM gear or not. Oh, failing that warehouse guide. No, that's heirlooms. <laughs> yeah, that's got nothing to do with time walking gear, that's heirlooms. That's your leveling gear. Uh, so the gear with like the light blue name uh, that you can use on tunes other than your first tune, basically. Uh, to get up to level 50, uh, you can now upgrade them so that they go to level 60. Uh, I've started upgrade. I've started gearing up a couple of my tunes with uh, those heirlooms, but I'm just upgrading them slowly because it costs like a lot of gold. I have limitless time. You... Uh, yeah, heirlooms. Absolutely heirlooms. Useful to have uh, if you are leveling stuff. Otherwise. Uh, like it is, it is its sole purpose is for leveling characters. That's it. Um, and you've got like a whole bunch of there's five upgrade levels. So in the beginning, it'll only do stuff up to like level twenty nine. Then I think actually, is does it start at twenty nine? Like our weapon. Sitting at yeah, so there's 29, then upgrade level one is 34. There. Level two is 39. Level three is 49. Nope. Level three would be 44. There. Level five is 49. And then if you've got a thing upgraded all the way to level five, uh, it will go up to level 59. So it's not I level 59. Um at at uh, at level 59, it'll be 146 I level, which is not good. But it's not bad. It's not bad. So yeah, you can build yourself like you can build yourself an entire set of that um, as you're leveling for a particular armor type. Uh, but the good thing is you can you like if you build up a plate set, you can use that to level all your plate wearers, sort of thing. Um, at least that's what I've gone and done because it's just too expensive otherwise. It didn't work. Yes, correct. We can refund them, but that's extra steps. Um, hello, no future. Welcome on in. Uh, you can buy 233 gear on auction house. Also, 1262. You can, but that takes gold. Um, mm, yeah. Desir is a relatively new player, uh, and from what I remember, doesn't have a whole lot of gold. So, it might be a bit more difficult for him to go and just buy stuff. Those are heirlooms. Yeah, but you also haven't got an army of vaults, so... Uh, greetings, Flip. How are you going? Welcome back. <clears throat> 102k is probably fairly decent for buying yourself something, but if you're also running LFR and stuff fairly regularly, then there may not be much point in buying yourself a piece of gear because you may end up replacing it, even from the uh, vault or something. You know, Mythic Plus and stuff as well. Um, personally, I never buy gear. Um, unless I'm buying, like, a, uh, like a, the base item for a legendary, for example. If I'm crafting something, then I'll buy the piece of gear because I have to in order to be able to craft it. Uh, but beyond that, I don't ever buy BOEs or anything like that. It's just not, um, it's not, it's not necessary. Um, especially like if, if you do the kind of content that you want to do regularly, that kind of content will provide you the appropriate gear to continue doing that kind of content. You've just got to be patient with it. Um, yeah. Uh, but there are of course, you know, people who are in like World First Races, for example, Obviously, you know, it's their literal job to be as possible, as 
geared as humanely possible, that kind of stuff. But, uh, yeah, beyond that, there's, uh... Or if you're competitive Mythic Plusing and, and things like that, it might be good to, if it's going to get you that extra few seconds on your timer and get you into a comp or get or something like that. If it's, if it's again, your job, like, there are, there are sponsored streamers who work for guilds who run Mythic Pluses and stuff, like, yeah, sure. But outside of that, if you're a, a, a casual player, and I, I count casual players as people who raid three times a week, like, it's not, like... Yeah, you don't need, don't feel pressured to, to buy gear. It's unnecessary. But of course, do what your heart desires. Just don't do it if you feel like you don't want to, because you don't have to. But if you want to, you absolutely can. Because there is an avenue for you. Don't feel like you have to play gold grinding hardcore mode for two weeks to buy a piece of gear that you'll upgrade approximately a week <laughs> if that's the kind of content you're running and if you're not running that kind of content you probably don't need that piece of gear only really do what feels reasonable and fun to you yeah right there you go nice and easy oh this is taking forever I'm just going to group this one, and then I'm gonna boop you. Why did none of that- oh, was I not close enough? Good lord. Camera angle was terrible, I thought I was close enough. Oops. You get the same drop, yeah. No, we won't get the same drop, because BOEs are very specific items. Um, I- oh, there might be BOEs from LFR. But um, I'd imagine, it, like, if you're going to do a BOE, it's probably not going to be worth buying an LFR BOE. Well, I made, I made a mistake. I'm sure I'll be fine. to collect these. Oh, I am. It's Fractured Soul. I'm a numpty. Fantastic. <clears throat> oh god. I can't breathe. Yeah, mash buttons. Kill shit. Pick up spear, throw a spear, mash buttons. No real mechanics. Just mash buttons. I mean, picking up a spear and throwing it, I guess, is a mechanic. That makes sense. But at least she has been deprived of the eye. Odin will be pleased. I expect your allies will rejoice as well. The eye's absence will embolden their advance against the Jailer. You have my thanks for all you have done. Your deeds will be sung in Odin's great mead hall. All will know of your steadfast courage. We stand together against the darkness. All right. The eye of the Jailer is driven out. So that's three chapters complete. Um, and that's 8.40. So that's an hour and 53 minutes. That's with the bugs. That's with the, the oopsies. Um. Uh, that's with, uh, what's it? I look forward to seeing Uh, battles. That's with, uh, share streams and stuff like that. So that's for renown. Is that four or am I 63? It said four renown in the thing. 
but did it lie? <clears throat> Show me. No, honestly, like half an hour per renown with a guaranteed weapon and the Death's Advance War Chest, which honestly, if it's a lower geared tune, is going to guarantee you an upgrade. Depend. I mean, obviously, if you've got a character that has half their slots really quite high and the other half low, then it's a whatever. But, um... <clears throat> Let me just have a look. Because what I'm here for is the escaped wildling. Uh, but now that I know yeah, that... I would speak with voice you lines! Ugh. Um... <laughs> what did I get to? 63? Yeah, it was only 63 renown. That's interesting. So I got three... Why did it say it gives four? Maybe I'd already done the first bit that's supposed to give the first bit? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but yeah, three renown. Uh, plus I got the 207 braces. I think that was from the chest. And then the 187 weapon as well. If your weapon is low on your, um, your ult, it may well be worth doing... Where isn't the escape wildling like around here somewhere? There we go. Yeah, it's underneath the uh... mm, Okay, plus gold. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, I've earned, oh, I just re, fuck, I just refreshed. Of course I did. <laughs> Damn it. I'm like, I've not earned zero gold. Piss off. Uh, is not so sure. Yeah, look, I mean, one piece of gear is not going to sort out your stuff. Um, but it can certainly help, depending. Uh, maybe it's four if you're lower renown. M maybe? Excuse me, maybe. I went to see my no regrets. I don't like Gothia, totally fair. Totally fair. Although, funny, like, funny you should mention that. I spent very little time actually in Gothia doing that storyline. Although I'm pretty sure the uh, the unlock for ZM probably gives you a, uh, a weapon as well of some kind. But yeah, the Renown is not, like, because I don't play my ults, I, I don't play my ults, um, so I don't have the Renown on them, like, as you can see, like, I'm 63 on this one now. Um, I, I got them all to 40 because of the uh, unlocking of the mount, I think it was, but yeah, it's... Hmm. Definitely a thing. Oh, look. So it's here, but I can't actually do it. Is it because it's already finished? I have to wait for it to respawn? Yeah, I have a feeling it's already, like, done. Recently. I just missed it, yeah. Good timing. Nice music with the rules again. Brilliant. Interesting. Check on mine if you want. I mean, if you'd like to, feel free. Like, not if you're in the middle of something. Like, if you're, if... <laughs> I don't know if you've got the mounts already. Just play the drums, indeed. It really speeds up renown gain. Oh yeah, absolutely. The Covenant campaign is super quick. Mm, 
Okay, so... For the Alliance! Looks like it's, like, every... 15 to 30. Stay a while and listen. Yeah, pretty much. Alrighty. Oh, it just disappeared. It just disappeared. Alright, Kat, Neke, Ali, Dono, Zem, Draz, Fade, Koala, and Mizuma. Congratulations to all of you. On your bonus trip. Boss fight! Heart capture demon princess. Sure. She looks like Chibiosa. But like a goth Chibiosa. I'm, I'm here for it. Ah, Look at that! It's so cute! Okay, uh, monk for buffing, you reckon? I did this before, but let's see. <clears throat> okay. What do we do when waiting for boss- just things to sp Spawn mount stuff? Yeah, that's right. And play with the game. Ah, uh, is it back to your normal chair? Yeah, look, I'm doing okay. I'm not like. Oh, where did it. What happened? Oh, I'm in freaking combat. Why did it put me in combat from all the bloody way back there? Okay, that's super annoying. That's annoying. What? That's backwards. <laughs> well done, dude. Well done. I'm very confused. Successfully confused. When had that happen before? Yeah, no, that's fine. It's okay. Totally okay. What are yeah, that's, uh... Huh, interesting. Maybe it's like insert or something. Doing something wonky. For a respawn, respawn, respawn. Waiting for a respawn. It'll be fine. <laughs> be worth it. Get the spinach noodle. Eventually. We'll get there, we'll get there. So depending on how long this takes to spawn each day, each Monday, um, <laughs> I wonder how far through this Mount Farm Monday list I'm going to get nowadays, now that there's so many things before islands. Oh, hey okay. We're on the same shard. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, I think there are a few enough people in Corthia that most of us will be on the same shard. That's okay. Join me. Uncross wires. It's a thing. It's good. Brilliant. Ah, oh, I'm so with you talking about it. It's up. Indeed. Indeed, because I don't think I'll be able to solo it. But there are a few other people around. 
Um, so maybe we'll get people, like, getting here when it does go. Leave. Second. That's what I meant to do. Ah, bugger. Oh well. We do the drums. I'm playing as loud as I can! That was really quick. <laughs> you made that look easy? I could be an absolute bitch and say it's because it is easy. But no, my brain just does puzzles. Like, my, my puzzle- my brain works with puzzles. Um, there have been a few times in the past where I've pulled up the thing and I've explained what's going on in my head as I click different stuff. Um, Next time I have to use it, next time I have to wait for something to spawn, I will explain what's going through my head as I'm doing it, and maybe it'll help other people, because there's an achievement for it. Once you get to level 20, there's an achievement. I think that was about 7, level 7 or so. Um, but yeah, no, I love puzzles. I'm loving Xerath Mortis. All the, all the funky puzzle boxes and stuff, it's great. Many loves. How are you going, JD? Welcome in. Hope you're having a lovely day. Oh, I am feared. Again. No enrage for you. Uh, that's us. It is indeed. I saw the voice line and was like, oh, at me. fight yeah I'm doing a lot better than I was still not like super awesome but like I'm I'm definitely getting there so much better than I was like Friday Saturday <laughs> so yeah just sort of hoping for the continued development of, of goodness great English for you well done spinach noodle yep it better drop oh my god no I didn't get it it drops alongside the box so uh nope Not today. Next time. Alright, so I've done... Th that attempt is going to take a lot less time. Next time. Okay, so... <laughs> <clears throat> oh, I haven't opened my war chest. I just realised. Good lord. Okay. Well, I got a... I got a... I got a belt. It's an upgrade. So I got three, three upgrades from doing the, the Corthia fun times. All right, I'm gonna head back to Heart of the Forest. The next mount on the list is the Enchanted Shadeleaf, Shadeleaf Rune Stag, which I can go buy right now, except I don't have the Amina. So uh, we're gonna go do some anima farming. <clears throat> oh, his respawn wasn't awful. No, that was a really good respawn. I'm I'm very happy with that. The fact that I couldn't get to not even close to level 20, that's a good respawn time. I'm I'm happy with that. That's kind of my measure of is this worth waiting around for on stream? If I can get to level 20 and keep going and it's not even close to spawning, then it's not it's not worth my time waiting. Um But yeah, uh let's see. What I've got, I'm pretty sure the Enchanted Shade Leaf Rune Stag is a 5k. <clears throat> and I am not gonna hit the 64. Good. 1679. Alright, I'm going to drop a poll. This is a very, 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 very important poll. I need everybody to vote. Everybody to vote. And these typos are intentional. Uh, it's 
I'm gonna make it a two minute poll because I need like. There you go. Where? What? Ah! <laughs> I reckon it's that. No? Okay, so I thought I was going to be in trouble for calling you guys noobs. So originally that poll read, where Amina? Question. The first option was everywhere! Exclamation. And the second option was go unlock ZM noob with zeros instead of O's. And it told me the content does not meet guidelines. I was like, okay. So I changed noob to numpty because I thought, surely. Nope. I changed... Amina, because I'm thinking like maybe this is some kind of like underground word that I don't know of that's like a drug or something. So I changed that to anima. Nope. And I know it's not anima. Like I know anima is fine because I've put it in my title before. So that's fine. Um, then I changed everywhere to all the places, which means all of Shadowlands. Still no. So I took out ZM and uh, replaced it with Zerith Mortis, but because it doesn't fit, I had to also remove Numpty. So either numpty is a disallowed term or ZM is a disallowed term according to Twitch's content guidelines. I'm, I am like 98% certain I have put the phrase numpty in my title before. You numpty is blocked. Oh my god. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Okay, that must be it then. I could have sworn I put numpty in my content, in my in my title though. Oh well. I mean, easy as hell in ZM. I know, I know. That's why I'm like, but the thing is I haven't unlocked ZM. And I don't want to do a skip. I want to actually, like, I'd want to actually unlock it. Which is probably enough out of it to buy them out anyway. But like, yeah, so it's... I'd have to- I've just unlocked Corthia. Go unlock ZM. Okay. <laughs> Fine! Um... Excuse me. Uh, Eternity's End, Zerith Mortis. Uh, no, I want to actually do the intro. Um, Hearthstone. Um, hello, Jason. Islands or islands? No. Not on the list yet. Some frozen goods. Mm, what a phrase is. Numpty is apparently a word. Numpty is a word, yeah. It's an you numpty blocked though. But it didn't say you numpty. It was go unlock ZM numpty. Full stop. It was really interesting. Super ineffectual person. Yeah. But I feel like numpty is so much softer and and kind of more giggly and gentler than the vast majority of insults people use these days. Um, and I quite like numpty as like a, you numpty. You know, rather than calling somebody an idiot or like a noob or whatever, like there are just, there are so many horrible, nasty things we call each other, but numpty is more of an affectionate insult. As stupid as that, those two sound together, I know, but like, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a whole thing. But yeah, so there you go. There you go. Thank you very much, all of you, for, for voting in the poll. I, you've helped me immensely. Uh, and thank you also to the one singular person who wanted to see me do world quests. I appreciate you, and I value your opinion. Unfortunately, you were uh, totally overruled. <laughs> My apologies. Um, fair, but who knows what reports have been made yeah, and the other thing is, we've got to remember that Twitch is an American company. 
Uh, and Numpty, I feel like, is quite, a, like, I, I don't think it's an Australianism, but it's at the very least, uh, like, a UK thing as well. You know what I mean? It's something that we've uh, inherited from our clo clo colonizers. There we go. Got there. Um. <clears throat> but yeah, like, it's, it's very much not an American thing. And so they may just see the definition and kind of go, oh. Um, which I get. They've got to, like... They have to be seen to protecting, to be protecting their, their consumer base as best they can. Whether or not they actually do. But yeah. Primus. Uh, is noob worse than numpty? Scottish, the word in question. Oh, there you go. There you go. Uh, is noob worse than numpty? I think it is, personally. Um, I've only ever seen noob used like as a genuine insult like even if it's even if it's used gently with someone you know or whatever th there's always been an undertone of you have fucked up and you have inconvenienced me so i am going to insult you um and i'm going to use this word instead of anything more attack worthy because I, i'm still frustrated at you so yeah i've i've never heard noob used gently um really so it kind of, yeah, numpty is definitely a softer word in, uh, in my, it just in my personal experience. I want to mod's attention, both of them. It highlighted both. Um, I'm new here, welcome, worship. Like, pulling people goofballs. Definitely a good one. Definitely a good one. Uh, a goofball to me uh, inspires the image of, why am I not getting another sparkly exploity one. Oh, there you go. Um, inspires someone who's like physical comedy, like doing something silly with their body or whatever rather, like, you know what I mean? Which of course is a little tricky when we're, when we're here on, on the Twitch. Except for me, maybe. Maybe I'm the goofball. I mean, who am I kidding? I'm always the goofball. Um, of course, your own personal definition may be very, very different. I'm just, uh, talking about what it brings to my mind. Hope you are having a wonderful time. I hope you enjoy your time with us, Bosch. Ah, uh, it's only because I'm progressing the yet. Yeah, neither have I. This is, I'm just going in there, like. Remember discussions online about the Australian TV show Spicks and Specs being flagged? Yes, because one of those words is a slur. Oh, crap. I'm supposed to be doing stuff. <clears throat> I thought I was just on a flight path. I'm not. Uh, this one. Nope. It's attention. Shake off, hold tightly. You're away. Oh, kick in the right direction. I don't think, oh, nope. That was, okay. I think both of them work apparently. Um. Uh, but, but, but I keep using it softly. The implication is someone's bad at something or Numpty's implying they made an oopsie. That's kind of, yeah. Mawwalker? I think Where that's sort of you? how it worked in my head as well. Rick Moranis is a goofball. That would probably be far more effective a statement Portal if I knew who that was off the top of my head. Perhaps the <laughs> destroyed it behind us. Uh, is fear a goofball? Can probably. Please, like SpongeBob has the best one. Knucklehead Mix Bazatron. Um, Even that. Hello? is derived from a slur against someone who is disabled. Um, knucklehead is a good one, but it does kind of imply stupidity or, or whatever. Um, so I personally wouldn't use that one, but that's just, again, personal, personal thing. Um, but yeah, it is, it's interesting, all the different creative ways we have to insult one another. <laughs> Kindly or otherwise. Uh, run this scenario, shrink the kids. Ah, I think I've seen one of those movies once when I was about eight. Yeah, sorry. And I don't think I've ever seen Spaceballs. Uh, especially in children's show, yeah. Yeah, look, it's also, like, Spongebob was a 90s show, uh, as far as I imagine, or, like, late 90s, early 2000s, um, where 
we had a different set of stand a different set of standards. Um, I remember when Friends made its way to Netflix, and a lot of people kicked up a stink and said how Friends is uh, incredibly transphobic, and there's a whole lot of really bad, like a whole lot of really, really homophobic and all that kind of really terrible things and jokes that they made that are absolutely not appropriate. And I agree. Watch out! A lot of the jokes that they made are incredibly inappropriate and not funny in the slightest. They're horrible, horrendous. However, this is not a defense. Those who fail to learn from history, those who fail to learn from history are doomed to repeat it. So recognizing that we watch this show, whatever it is, and that they make these comments or they crack these jokes or they use these gentle ribbing insults that are in fact incredibly problematic Do you see the you said the automa if you just destroy all evidence of things that were problematic you did not there is the chance that we will circle back around and people won't realize why they're problematic because we won't have that constant sort of thing they're saying this is what we used to say and it's not okay because reasons you know what i mean like it's not to say we need to sit our children down and make them watch each individual episode of these different children's shows that have inappropriate insults. Like, that's not what I'm saying. But have it, like, you can still enjoy Spongebob whilst still recognising that this particular insult is not appropriate. There were a lot of good things that friends did. There were a lot of bad things that friends did. Funny thing about things that humans create is that they reflect humans, and humans are flawed. None of us are perfect. And so nothing that we can create will ever be perfect. And it's good to remember that. Good to learn that. Good to This must be the repository. That stuff. Button! Okay, there we go. Moss war. Be careful. Um Comes of the friends era, yeah, yeah, and that was unfortunately that was what was funny. That was the go-to jokes because that was what everyone found funny at the time. But it's like it is a relic of its era. We know what not to do. We have examples of what not to do. No one can say, I didn't know that wasn't okay, because we can point to something and say, yes, you did, we've done it already, and we decided as a, as a group that it was not okay anymore. <laughs> like. Hmm. This did not end well. Uh, I look, to be, per to, blah, 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 blah. to be totally honest with you, I've never watched Friends all the way through. Like, I've seen bits and pieces, I've seen maybe an episode here or there, um, but I've... Uh, I was not into... I think I was in the very slim age gap, like, age section that just didn't watch it, because we were too young when it was, like, actually airing, and then by the time the wave of nostalgia hit, we didn't have the nostalgia, and we weren't young enough to not know what was... Do you know what I mean? Like, it was just, I mean, that little awkward sliver of humanity that just didn't watch it. Um, but I have seen bits and pieces of what people have spoken about, and I understand what they're saying. Um, I can I can see that in the examples provided, um, but I've also seen good bits, you know, I've, I've seen silly gags um, about different bits and pieces that have been grabbed from friends and stuff like that. But, if, you know, like any sitcom, it teaches you some good lessons, um, but some of them are, you know, don't be transphobic. <laughs> some of them were not the intended lessons. Uh, Friends did not age well? No. No, it didn't. But to be honest, not many sitcoms have. Ah, to be you totally are. honest. I trust you were successful. I've teleported outside. What's. There we go. Come. My trusty Bombata. We'll see you safely. Bombata! Went to the peanut butter jar last night. Oh no, that would have caused a mess. To argue that Nazis Friends. are bad. Have you ever yeah, seen them? Yeah, look. More. 
Her body nerfect! Friends are the friends we made on the way. Very close friends like to use harsher insults on each other. As we understand, we aren't completely intending to put another down. When it comes to acquaintances or strangers, there's always a standard that needs to be upheld. Read the room. Literally, read the room. If you are in... Like, and even, I imagine, Borsch, that if you had a friend who you were used to slinging pretty hectic insults at, and I'm not going to judge that because your your relationships are your relationships. Friendships are a type of relationship, obviously. Um, so, like, and if, if you did sling something at a friend, and that friend kind of went, um, I'm sure you'd kind of go, oh, sorry, obviously crossed a line won't happen again and you wouldn't do that again like you've obviously hit a nerve and so you do you know what I mean I can imagine that you respect your friends enough and there's a mutual respect there excuse me that that wouldn't be allowed to happen if that makes sense but yeah it's absolutely like there are there are people who come in here who have been in here for years who have been viewers for years and I will talk with them quite a bit differently than I will talk with someone who's new here like you Bush uh, because, you know, there are, of course, there are going to be inside jokes and references to prior conversations and things like that, but I also have that kind of rapport this? with them More that the I know and they know. But, you know, it's, yeah, I, I totally get that. And I'm the same. Allies. I'm the same with friends. I am Pelagos, Certain friends. Obviously, there are some that we don't have that kind of relationship and we just don't insult each other. <laughs> but even when it comes to conversations in general, there are topics that we know to stay away from because it's not something we're comfortable speaking about that's okay i'm not making haven my home oh apathy youch i hate that fingers crossed you get some kills soon in case of that type of humor rather than using it as an outcry to identify that it's wrong yeah it's it is absolutely, and it's not, it's not always, like, like I was saying, you know, there's, there's good parts to friends, for example. And obviously Spongebob is freaking awesome, regardless of the fact that they have one particular insult in one particular in episode uh, that is based on a slur that is not acceptable. Like, it really comes down to an individual case-by-case -case basis. It's, yeah, but I've, again, not watched any of MASH, so I can't comment on any of that. Um... um uh, talking about the n-word. No. We're not talking about the n-word at all. Uh, and be very careful of what you say, yeah, Priesty. Um, yeah, we're not at all talking about the n-word. We were talking about, well, actually, <laughs> technically, uh, the conversation started because I put up a poll in which I called myself a numpty. Uh, which actually does start with N, now that you mention it. Um, but, no, we're, we're talking about insults and how we, you know, we, we may call, like, numpty is a really kind of kind-hearted term, but it's blocked by Twitch. Um, because it is still an insult. And so, regardless of the fact that I'm Aussie and we use it as essentially a slightly insulting term of endearment, honestly. I was like, you numpty, when you've done an oopsie, you know, like you've, you've spilt a bit of milk on the counter. Oh, you fucking numpty. Um, <laughs> you know, like it's, it's that kind of, but because Twitch doesn't get that because they're an American company and they've seen the definition and gone, insult, ban. Um, it's, it's a thing. And so we then got into what we call each other as light-hearted insults and stuff. Um, there's an episode of Spongebob where an insult is used that is based on a slur that is not the n-word. Um, and then, you know, we got onto the topic of other shows and, and how some of them have really not aged well, uh, like Friends, for example. But then there are other shows who approach those similar kind of topics, but in ways to show that they're calling it out in a way or not. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's really interesting how stuff kind of works. But yeah, um... I absolutely, like, you, you may say it's just a word, but words have so much power. So much power. In fact, a lot of the time, words are the only power that we have. And so to say, oh, it's fine, it's just a word, to any word, is not okay. Um, yeah. Words hold immense power, and uh, the way that we use or do not use them c 
conveys to the world our opinions, our feelings, and the way we respect or disrespect one another as humans. It's not, like, words are not just something to be tossed out there willy-nilly. Oh, Nazis! Okay, that- God, there are- why are there so many words that start with N? Uh, <laughs> but no, yeah, it's, um, uh, yeah, looking, looking at, uh, you know, lessons that have to be learned and all that kind of stuff, and it's, uh, why- why do we have to even- yeah, but it's- uh, yeah, words are- words are exceptionally powerful. And yeah, for some of us, words are the only power that we have. And, uh, it's important that we use them as well as we can. Um... Uh, snack five times. Oh, good, good. Um... Just have a nice look and gotcha, gotcha. Uh, num to the other N word. Yes, I uh, never heard of numpty. Glad to know a new word today. Fantastic. There you go. My gift to you. You only have power if you give them power. Bullshit. Bull fucking shit. If that is something that you feel that you can say in your life, you are saying that from one place of a hell of privilege. Hell of a lot of privilege. A word can have so much power when spoken by somebody against you, regardless of whether or not you want that person to have power over you or not. <laughs> if you believe that you are the one that has power to give everyone else's words power, then my god, the privilege you live in. And that's not me trying to insult you. Like, being in a place of, in a place of privi privilege, ah, god, I can't even speak. Being in a place of privilege is something to be grateful and thankful for, but it is also something that should, you know, you should probably be careful not to misuse. Because, like, oh good lord, no. Yes. Other people can place power on your words very easily. And other people can hold over you their words and you can't do shit about it. <clears throat> Should to not give them power? Yeah, that's... That is absolutely being spoken from a place of privilege. You, you're, you're living in a place where... Or you're living a life where... You can get out of out from underneath somebody's words. Not everyone has the power to do that, unfortunately. There are there is like systems in place in society that prevent people from being able unable prevent people from being able to get out from under somebody else's powerful word. You are incredibly lucky to not be one of those people. You're incredibly lucky to allow to, to be able to define for yourself the power that somebody else's words hold over you. Not everyone has that ability. At all. Like... That's <laughs> what the word oppression means. One of the many meanings. We did not do a win. We need more units. Not many more though. Only 15 units left. That's not too bad. Let's keep going. Ah, uh, just words, Mum. They don't mean anything. No, no, no. What I told my mum was it's just swears. It's just a swear word. The word doesn't mean anything. It's the it's the, the meaning that society places upon it. And good lord did I use those words to effect. Mostly pissing my mother off, but you know, that's an effect. <laughs> but yeah, no. It's um Yeah. I shall show um, you to the waste home. There's a treatment or degradation of an entire community or race. Yep. Uh, I can't believe we can- I believe we can reclaim certain words once, even once they're considered reclaimed. Doesn't mean every person will be okay with it being used around them at the end of the day. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and it's often, like, as, as a straight person, it is not up to me. I am not able to reclaim a word that has been used to degrade and oppress a gay person. <laughs> like, the whole point of reclaiming something is that it's a word that's been taken away from you, used against you. If something has never been used against who I am, I am not a person who can reclaim that. Yeah? Awesome. If something could not or has not been used against you, then it is not your place to reclaim it. You're just using it like a dickhead. <laughs> Basically. Um... Congratulations on the gifted skin, Heg. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Ellie, for that previous skin bomb as well. Ah, uh, totally agree. See disagreements all the time in the 
community about term queer in particular yeah yeah look it's and different people have different experiences with different words as well like Look, look at look at a food type, like sushi. There are gonna be some people out there like me who sushi is their favorite food. There are gonna be some people out there who fucking hate sushi. And then there are other people who are just gonna not give a shit about sushi. Like they don't care either way. They don't love it, they don't hate it. It's just fine. If it's there, they'll eat it. But then it, like it's not, they don't feel any sort of way about it. And the same thing is gonna happen with those kind of words. Some people are gonna hate it being used about them or near them or in any other kind of way because they have really bad experiences with that word or because they just don't fucking like it. And then other people are gonna reclaim that word and use it to describe themselves. And then other people are just gonna be like, eh, don't care. Like, do you know what I mean? It's it is the will really easy to respect voice. other people. Listen to them. The stone will open to you, mortal. Listen to them and treat them the way that they want to be treated. It's pretty, pretty straightforward. You mean I have privilege before what I had to go through as a child? I mean, I'm not off put by what you're saying. I just think it's a disagreement. You can go through shit and still be privileged in other ways. Like that's a fact. Um, like, I I have an autoimmune condition and I have a whole bunch of medical issues that aside from that that cause me a whole lot of shit in a whole lot of ways, and I'm I. I'm suffering right now. It's not great. It's pretty damn shit. But I'm white. I live in Australia. I'm a cisgender female. These are all places of privilege. Just because I'm also exceptionally sick. That sucks. Like, that's that's really bad. It's not something that happened to me. It's just something my body has decided to do to itself. Thank the Archon you are but I still have other privileges. I live in Australia, which is a privilege because it means that my my illnesses can be treated for a very, very low cost. I'm cisgender, which means that I get access to like honest healthcare when I go somewhere and say I have this issue. They don't automatically say, oh, maybe it's because you're trans. Maybe it's because of your hormones. Maybe it's because of this, that or the other. Like, I still, you know, with, with the whole, like, cisgender female thing, when I go in and I say, oh, I'm, I'm having some severe abdominal cramps, oh, it's probably just your period. Well, no, because this is all month when I'm having it, when I'm, you, like, so I get dismissed because of that sometimes, because being male is also a place of privilege and I don't have access to that particular type of privilege. But, like, there are, like, you can be privileged in some ways and underprivileged in other ways. That is absolutely possible. When it comes to this particular thing, you are privileged because you don't understand the power a slur can have over someone. I, I'm assuming that's because you haven't had a slur used against you. I could be wrong about that, obviously. I don't know you. But that's what that suggests to me. I hope that that makes sense from as respectful a place as I can come, I promise you. But yeah, you can absolutely be privileged while having a shit childhood. It's uh, totally possible. Uh, this wind and rain has really riled my kitten up. Look, uh, weather seems to do it, hey. Forgive my doubts, more walker. You and your allies are welcome. Cool, so I just upgraded that weapon that I got the other before. Uh, good. words spoke of your coming. So the Corthia weapon is useless if you're trying to do Corthia, if you're going to go through the, the Corthia thing and not use the skip because of the weapon, don't. <laughs> but I still reckon it was worth it for the renown. If only it didn't bug out so much. Good lord, it was terrible. Um... Uh, should never be used publicly. Shouldn't be used, full stop. Like, I don't give a flying fuck. Like, <laughs> if, you, if you use a set of racial slurs in public, you're racist. If you set, use a set of racial slurs in private, you're racist. Doesn't matter whether it's public or private. You're still racist. You're just managing to hide it if you don't use it in public. But that's just my personal opinion. And that's, you know, one example. Obviously, there are slurs that are not based on race. Not publicly again. Yeah. <laughs> um, as a high school kid who was happy with the nickname, many other people thought it was an offensive word directed to his race. He was an offended by it. He went by this nickname for five years. And I see New Jersey, but no. Look, I mean, I can understand 
from a school's perspective, having a student go around with a slur on his jacket does not reflect well on the school. <laughs> like, I get, I get where, like, if a person is fine, like, I did, I did, oh, where, I can't remember where I saw it, so I'm not going to give the anecdote because um, when I can't back shit up, that's not okay. Uh, but like, it's it's just, it's keeping in mind, like with individuals, one particular person, it was like the word queer. Some people are fine with the word queer. They use it to, to, to like, to identify themselves and that's all well and great. Other people take it as an insult. So don't like, to be respectful, you can not use it with them or around, do you know what I mean? Like. It would be, I would assume, disrespectful to not address, not to identify somebody as queer when they self-identify as queer. But it is also disrespectful to identify another person as queer when they have specifically said it's not something they're okay with. Like, that's, you know what I mean? Like... Pretty straightforward. Um, it's losing its whole situation, still six of me, it was 15 years ago now. What if a black person uses the n-word? Is that still racism? As we appro as we said before, with rec reclamation of words, no. If a word has been used against you as a slur, or could be used against you as a slur, you have the right to reclaim that word, if you so desire. You can choose to keep it out of your mouth for the rest of your bloody life, and that's totally respectable too. But you and you alone plus the community that is also affected by that slur, have the opportunity to reclaim that word if you so desire. So no. A black person reclaiming a slur used against them is fine. A gay person reclaiming a slur used against them is fine. A transgender person reclaiming a slur used against them is fine, etc. No, skin color does not dictate. As I said before, if a slur could possibly be used against you for whatever reason, be it your race, your skin colour, your eye colour, your hair colour, your orientation, your gender, your disability, if a slur can be used against you, you have the right to reclaim that word. Now you're just being argumentative. Like, you know, like... <laughs> Unless you're like 12, you know that this is this is just using dog whistles. Come on. Be respectful, yeah? Hey Slim, how you doing? Welcome back. To a certain extent, totally fine. But yeah, like, come on now. Just. <laughs> I'm just trying to know how to convey tone over text. You, you're coming across as incredibly argumentative, and what I mean by a dog whistle, a dog whistle is a phrase or a term that is used to rile up people who are passionate about a particular topic. Um. So. Your like the the phrase oh is it just based on skin color then? You see, yeah. It's that's bullshit, and you know it's bullshit. Like you, if if you have been here for this discussion, you have heard me specifically say that slurs can be reclaimed by people who that slur can be used against. You heard me say that, and at no point during that particular discussion did I say it had to be skin color based. So you're trying to to rile people up and to get people to get onto you and be like no that's not how it works and blah, blah, blah. it's a dog whistle it's enti it's entire design is to rile up people who disagree with the statement and it's bullshit so i like it's also hella inappropriate we don't accept that kind of bullshit here don't use slurs real simple Uh, I'm doing good, thank you. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. Still a bit sick. Still getting over surgery, but um, getting there. Definitely getting there. Hoping that I can shake off the exhaustion in the next week or so. Um, 
he brought up the in character slurs on RP servers that time, and I feel so hilarious. Not gonna lie. Oh, it, yeah, I I don't remember who it was, but it was it was really interesting. It was really interesting. Uh, I'm gonna die again. I'm really good at dying. <laughs> I'm so bad at this shit. Oh my god. At least I can fly. I'm glad I clicked on the stream. Interesting conversation. Very refreshing to see a streamer who isn't afraid to speak out. At least. Aw, thank you, Porsche. Look, I try. I've had some practice, unfortunately. Um, I've been streaming for six years, and um, look, we've we've dealt with a lot of interesting topics, but I've also dealt with a lot of like personal attacks and things like that. So it's um, it's a practice skill to kind of get myself to the point of. Uh, like talking about stuff with passion, but not with this shit used to make my blood boil. Used to get me real fucking angry, and then I realized if I kept doing that, then I was gonna end like there were gonna be clips of me that were gonna end up in you know like live stream fails bullshit and compilation videos of streamers gone wild and, and all that kind of crap. And that's not what I want for my stream. Like I want my community. community. Good lord. Concisely, she speaks, yes. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I think that these kind of issues are so important to people. Like, some people don't care, and like the ability to not have to care is lovely for those people. That's great for them. Um, but for a lot of people, these kind of issues define their lives, uh, whether they want them to or not. And... I have a platform, for better or for worse, and uh, I want to make sure that people of most walks of life uh, feel like they can be themselves here, and that they can be comfortable, and that they can have some fun and enjoy their time and all that kind of stuff. Um, and when I say most people, uh, we don't tolerate racism, or homophobia, or transphobia, or any of the isms, or that, that kind of, you know what I mean? Um, like, that's not what we do here. We're incredibly chill, usually. Uh, and yeah, when, when the opportunity arises to make clear what is and isn't okay here, I mean, I kind of have to take it. If we just sort of gloss over it, then there might be people who wonder, oh, well, how does she really feel? Like, is this actually a thing? Or, um, so yeah, it's kind of a, no, you're, you're you're safe here. This is this is a place. This is a place. Good job, Fear. Oh my god, I'm so fucking tired. Look, I can't even tell you. I have slept. Excuse me. So much over the last week. I have slept so much over the past week because I've been on hella painkillers and all that kind of stuff, and yet somehow still exhausted. Good. <sighs> I, I hate my body sometimes, just the amount of time it takes to do anything. This is trash. But look, I'm alive, and that's step one. So, we'll just, uh, I don't know, I haven't figured out step two yet, but I don't actually know what that is yet. If anyone can let me know what step two is, oh, I'd be glad for some info. Uh, but apparently step one is be alive, and I've got that down, so we'll, <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. Um, uh, fear talks, this happens a bit, yeah, um, like, you know, like, TED talks? Yeah, they, I've, I'm known to go ranting, um, and so, uh, it has been termed a fear talk, like, within, like, like, the TED talks, yep, yeah, because it's the same number of letters, hey! Yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a person, it's great, uh, I think it's on cooldown, possibly, yes, before the Zam clips, community, probably. I've already got a couple of clips. I have to check them after stream just in You know, making sure my comments have not been taken out of context, because that's another fun thing about streaming. Hey, yep. It's great. It's wonderful. Recommend it to everybody. Uh, kind of like community. Look, you know what? Part of my brain is telling me that's actually a word. And I'm like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think it is. So if it is, please, for the love of everything that is bubblesy, somebody tell me. 
Uh, in terms of power tolerance, most certainly yes, some people cannot be tolerated to ensure everyone feels oh well that's that's kind of my point, hey, because it's not, it's definitely not somewhere where it is somewhere where everyone is welcome. Because everyone includes Nazis. <laughs> we don't like Nazis, so they're not welcome here. <laughs> um Yeah, so it's <laughs> for to go for the obvious uh the obvious example. Um oh Yeah, all the noises. Good lord. Good lord. Um, can I drop some Amina in here? I suggest you start there. I don't know how much Amina I have so far. Oh, only 210. Okay, that's not that's not that much. No, I need that. Um, where? I can't check how much Anima I have. Anywhere can I? Except back at the place. That's trash! <sighs> Need 5,000. Oh, no, wait, I have it down there! Never mind, I'm an idiot, it's in the currency. <laughs> ah! Uh, perfect example of me being a numpty. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, Axim! Thank you for the cheer, my dear, thank you! I hope you're well. Ah, oh, dearie me. Uh, step one is underpants. Step one is underpants. Yeah, computer community. Yes, it's a computer community. T uh, can we rename Discord to community? That is that a. <laughs> uh, it's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. Everything is not fine. Right on time. Need that tank top on my on my throne wish list. There's a there's a tank top with a cat on a D20 with like a sword in its back saying, I'm fine, this is fine, everything is fine. Shall and I'm like, it me! <sighs> yeah. Before anyone asks, no, I do not play D D. I just am like I am intimately familiar with dice and stuff like that, just but it's I, I don't I don't enjoy D D personally. But that's okay. To their own. Software company in Linz, Austria. Oh god, okay, so it's a word that's a made up word as a company name. Damn it! Oh well. Protection of yours, okay. Protection of the first ones is ready to be pulled if you want. Ah, it's okay. Um, I'm. I'm fine. Thank you. Uh, excuse me, another Discord type program called Gilded. Interesting. Interesting. I've played DD at least. No, I have. I just didn't really. Didn't click with me. I didn't click with it. Whatever. I don't know. You know something. Um, do you say D and D? Can need that in my life. Here's a D and D ally. Yep. Very happy for all of you who massively enjoy your your dungeoning and your dragoning. Uh, but it is not for me. Um, it just bores me to tears. Your wish is my desire. It's just so boring. Stay here. Um, I also can't watch it. Why I can't. Like, here? uh, no. Nah, mm -hmm. I'm out. Done. Finished. Goodbye. Are you afraid of that cute little thing? Uh, but I'm very happy to let y'all do your thing while I go elsewhere and do another thing. What these constructs are capable of. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Basically. All right, I can mine on this tune. Forgot about that. I know the way. It is. They are using cloaking devices to hide themselves. B but we must focus. Cartel Zai is near. No, you far out. Uh, uh, on a Sunday. Oh, good lord. Good lord. Yeah, no, we we played an appropriate time for me. I just, it's just boring as sin. Um. And I, it's not just that I was playing with bad people or like before anyone mentions, like I, I've tried watching a couple of episodes of Critical Role with Jazz. It is just so boring. I, ju I just cannot get into it. And that is no disrespect because like all of the voice actors who are in Crit Role and stuff, they have done incredible work. They are amazingly talented and awesome at the, the improv and all that kind of stuff. It just is not for me. And that's okay, not everything is for everyone, but I am glad that it is there for people who bloody love it. 
Super glad for those people. Uh, so long between combat rounds. Yeah, look. Ah, <sighs> look. Uh, is Ash? Yes. That's at the same time. If it doesn't do for you, it's just not for you. Yeah, not, not for me whatsoever. Uh, time, yeah. Yeah, you get the, the world clock thing up with everyone's uh, time zones and try to find a spot that's green right the way down. <laughs> it's hard. It's really hard to do. Yes, try, continue trying to use a grey quality item there. Yeah, well done. Yeah, it's a, um... Look, it's like any hobby. There will be people who are into it and there are people who are not into it. God, I, I don't know how many of you would be entertained by cross-stitching. <laughs> but here I am, I can sit there for hours and just stitch away, you know, stab a piece of cloth a million times. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, certainly don't hold any of that kind of stuff against people, because humans are different. That's why there's so many different hobbies on the planet. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Uh, dedication it is isn't it that's so awesome that everyone has made that huge effort to be there at the you know what i mean like that's that's awesome love to watch girl come and just summed up my problem to how long the episodes are yeah there's there's a lot of faffing about and stuff like that but that's i think that's also like, one of the reasons you guys watch me as a streamer in particular is the personality thing and a lot of people from what i have gathered enjoy watching critical role because of the individuals, not just the characters that they play, but also them as humans and the banter between, like, out of character banter and stuff like that. So imagine me, but nine of me, all having their own moment for banter and then actually playing the game and you never get any gameplay done! <laughs> Good lord! So, look, I get it. I totally understand it, but it's, like, and look, there, there have been a few little clips that Jas has shown me, and the individual, like, little one-linery bits have been a blast, like, absolutely hilarious. But the whole thing is a pattern. Nah. I do know, I think he mostly puts it on as, like, background noise while he's doing something else. Um, and that's, you know, another totally valid thing to do. I know a lot of people do that with stream, and that's cool too. Um, but I have other things I prefer to put on, personally, and that's okay too. <clears throat> um. Uh, now, hey, yeah, once you're in that kind of, yeah, perfect. Just none of you move. Unless it's to move to be with another one of the, like, <laughs> uh. Um. I uh, always wanted to play D&D, friend group has never been up for it. I'm too uncomfortable to do any strangers. There have been a couple of times where... People in my Discord, like our community, the Fiamily Discord, um, there have been a couple of times where people have like sort of talked about putting a group together, but I don't know if it was just that they never got it off the ground because they couldn't be bothered, or if there weren't enough people to do it or whatever. But it's always worth asking. We used to have a DD channel back when we did some DD like on stream, um, but it's been literally years. So that channel's, I'm pretty sure the channel's gone. It might still be there, but. Um, I don't think it's been used in a while. Uh, but yeah, like, feel free to reach out to, like, because we're not entirely strangers. Oh, for God's sake. But we're also not, like, you know, we're not, obviously, we're not part of your close circle of friends. <laughs> but we're not entirely strangers either. So maybe that's, like, a, maybe you'll find a few people in that sweet spot. The banter while I'm working. Love the banter. Such time investment. Live streams, like, midday Friday. Yeah, I know Jas wasn't watching the live stream. He was watching the stuff on YouTube. Uh, nine fear. I know, right? This is entirely too many. Entirely too many, Sam. We'd all be constantly talking over each other. It would be horrible. Horrible. I'm gonna lose my place easily! Oh, dear. I understand that. She's missing small doses. I have to sit down and watch a whole one of people senseless. Yeah, and that's okay. That's totally okay. Humans have different interests. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Um. When got turned into the army killer. Oh, well done. Well done. Boy who wants to be king? Well done, Jess. Congrats to you and the team. So you get me my kill on Wednesday, yeah? Actually, no, we're playing Mario Party Wednesday. Do they know they don't have you on Wednesday? You're 
Prince William. Oof. No, Anduin. Um, me too, but I completely forgot. Yeah. Yep, Mario Party on Wednesday. You need to react to decline to the thing in Discord. Might need a sub in. Nah, they'll be fine. They'll figure it out. This is the problem with only putting up the, the raids like a week in advance, is that like people forget that there's a thing. And they just more immediately like yes, yes, yes to things as they pop up. Um Cartel Alan. It says they wish to be yeah. Please just come home. This is madness. Uh yeah, no, that'll be fine. If their entire raid group, if getting kills relies on having one individual player there, then there's a problem with the guild. Like, no guild should have, like, one person who determines whether or not something dies. It's what happens if that person's hit by a truck. <laughs> Literally. It's it's a problem. But Jazz is pretty good. He is! He's exceptionally good. That doesn't mean that he should be the deciding factor on whether bosses die. There's a reason raiding requires a team of at least 10 people. No, the Otoma. You will keep Progenita secret no longer. Uh, no shock me to my court. Yeah, it's a sound command. It had it in its intended per. It, let's try that again. It had its intended effect. I see. <laughs> we have a bunch of sound commands here that people have redeemed over time. Like they'll drop a uh, hundred thousand embers or the channel points, and then they'll send me an MP3 file, and I'll make it. A thing with a command like this and so yeah as as you go along as you spend more time with us you will learn about most of the sound effects um, they've got an hour long cooldown so you don't have to worry about hearing the fell reaver for another hour unless somebody drops bits to play it before then um, but we don't often often have that um, just because that costs money uh, <laughs> which is totally understandable. Um, but it's there if people want it. Uh, yeah. Baby. Um, this is a point boy indeed it is. Our wild seed rescue quest hits weirdly as a druid. Uh, is that one in ZM? Wrong button. Wow. Uh, for three seconds, family for wow. Just realized it didn't even bad and whatever. Yes, good, good. That is exactly the intended effect. I'm so pleased that you are so immersed in stream. Makes me very happy. <laughs> really need to get that done. Yeah, I've got a, I've got a couple that I've gotten sound I've gotten the sounds for, but I haven't actually implemented them yet. And there's a couple that are still sitting there waiting. Um, it's on my to-do list to like chase up and, and get stuff done. Because um, I've been a little out of it for a little while. Like, honestly, January was like, I know there's a battle. January was like level, 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 level. February was heartbreaker and then parent visit. First time I'd seen my mum and my stepfather in two years because of the fucking panini. Um, in the middle of the Heartbreaker shenanigans, and then right after Heartbreaker, I was supposed to do my sixth anniversary celebration, and I got throat infection because I was just exhausted and wrecked. And then by the time I'd re almost recovered from the throat infection, the floods happened. The Brisbane floods hit, and so I was off stream for a week because we had no power. And then, um, once I'd finally started, kind of, once I'd managed to get back on track from that. It was time to prepare for surgery, and then surgery was a week ago. So this whole year has been just... It has been just so full on, and I'm... I am so ready. I'm so ready for things to get back to bloody normal. There are no bonus streams in April. None. Not a single one. There are no short streams. There are no long streams. There is precisely as many streams as there should be. <laughs> a 
and there will not be any more bonus streams until June. Um, end of June is my part anniversary, so we will absolutely celebrate the hell out of that. But prior to that, no, no, nah, I'm sticking to normal. I'm right bang on the line i'm gonna try not to miss a single stream but i'm also not gonna actually that's a lie there are a couple of streams in there i'm planning on taking off um for different v events and bits and bobs but um no i am i'm getting back to normal less extra time live more time spent on the back end contacting potential sponsors getting my fucking instagram up and going please for the love of all that is holy follow me on instagram i kid you not my big goal for streaming for like 18 plus months. Like, I mean, obviously I've been streaming for six years and at the start it was kind of like, this is fun. And then it was like, actually, this is more than fun. I can do something with this. I'm gonna go part-time at work. And that was great. And then I was like, actually, you know what? Screw this, I actually wanna be partner. Like, I, this is the thing, let's, let's do this. And so I did, I knuckled down and I worked my ass off and we made partner. And now since then, it was like end of June last year, roughly end of June. Um, since then I'm like, okay, what the hell's my next big goal? My next big goal is full-time. I want to quit my day job. I value financial security over almost everything else. I want to know that I have the ability to pay my rent, pay my bills, pay for my food, pay my meds, etc, etc. I have, like, there, there is a bare minimum I need to earn per month for me to even consider leaving my day job. I don't like, I love my day job. Don't get me wrong. It's amazing. I love it. It's if I have to have a day job, I want this one. I really love it, but I like this more. <laughs> the way to do this, the way to go full time is money. The way to get money is not just subs and cheers and donations, because as, as much as I massively appreciate those and am just absolutely flawed anytime anyone decides to part with their valuable incredibly valuable uh, uh, disposable income. There's the word I was looking for. Anytime anyone chooses to part with their disposable income to help me on my way, like I am so appreciative, but I'd rather that money come from companies because companies have marketing budgets that have to be spent. They have to be spent. Why not on me? Stay a while and listen. It's a fair talk. <laughs> so, in order to get my hands on that corporate money, I need to firstly be a sellout, but that's another story. I'm kidding. Um, it's, it's all about having influence. Yeah, that's right. I'm an influencer. That is, that is what my job is, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> but I, I need to have influence. I need to grow my circle of influence to the point where people recognize that I actually do influence people in their purchasing decisions because that's what a company wants. Spend X money on influencer. Influencer influences their circle of influence. They make 5X money. They pay 5X money. Da -da 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 -da. 25X money. They pay 25X money. Blah, 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 blah. 125x money. Algebra is fun. So like that's how that works. But in order to do that, I need to prove that I have a circle of influence. And to do that, I need follower numbers. I know it doesn't sound like it would help, but genuinely every individual number that my follower following count ticks up by, one more person, you following, it adds up and it adds up so damn quick. I'm currently just shy of breaking 1K on Instagram. And I know that's teeny tiny, but that's the first step. Got to start somewhere. Break 1K, you work, you break 3K, you work, you break 10K, and that's where the big bucks are. Once you hit 10K, you start getting that sponsorship dosh. You get little things at one and like slightly okay things at three, but when you get to that 10, that's where it starts happening. It's like the magic number. I also, with the Instagram algorithm, if you have 10K plus followers, you're far more likely to be shown to people who don't actually follow you, even if you're not promoting your post. So, please follow. I, I'm so sorry to have to even ask, but if you have a Twitter account, chuck me a follow on Twitter. If you have an Instagram account, please chuck me a follow on Instagram. Twitter is great. TikTok is TikTok. Uh, Facebook is whatever, but Instagram is where it's at. Instagram is where the big corporate bucks are because it's so visual, because it's so easy to go, ooh, that's pretty. And then you tap it and literally buy it in app. It's so, so easy for companies to make that money, but Instagram is where it's at. So yeah, pretty please. 
if you can spare me a follow, it's free and it will help me more than you will possibly ever know. Thank you. <laughs> God, am I selling out right? Is this how I do it? Oh goodness, look, I think we might win this one. Ah, uh, let me catch up on all of that. Ugh. Hmm. Oh god, I was talking for a while. Um, <laughs> shit. Um, I'm wondering if I were to many of us the core, it's why it's so effective. It is. Every time it gets dropped, someone gets tricked by it. It's fantastic. Move on, you turn to a bit. Oh, okay. I don't remember that one. I'm going to be PTSD to you. I'm going to please jump skip if I once. Great, no bloodline. Oh, absolutely. You pull this over and trim it somehow. Um, if you've ever picked up one of those sound editing bundles from Humble, they're really, really good to use for this stuff. I use my, uh, I've got Vegas Pro that I use to clip all my stuff for YouTube. Um, and I do that for sound clips too because it can render to MP3. <laughs> um, and it goes like that as well. But um, obviously if you haven't picked that up, that's a thing. I'm pretty sure, I think Windows has some free tools, maybe. Otherwise, maybe the interwebs might have something. I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, I know, I know. No heartbreaker yet. Next year, 2023, baby. I thought, yeah, I should be able to take it down. Nah. You need to figure out where, of course. Double shaft streams in June. I mean, I don't know what I'm going to plan for the partner, but I think it's going to have to be ridiculous. It's going it, to, it's going to have to be ridiculous. It's always caught me on no, totally fair fair. Get that rest. Oh, I plan to. But I also am planning, like, I want to get my schedule back nicely to where it should be. That way I've hopefully will have a bit more energy to do stuff like meal prep and go for, and do exercise and all that kind of stuff that will hopefully help me be better. Because I'm just so sick and I'm so sick of it. Um, Koala, Countess, Little and Zem. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. And to yourself and each other. Not even. Come on. Ah, uh, what's the command? Take the partner command. No, there's no partner command. Um, but the day I made partner was the 27th of June. Um, which has been, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I think Raid Shadow Legends, I think that's been and gone. Because they sent me a Discord message, like, years ago, and I just ignored it. So I think I'm, I'm done and dusted. I don't think they'll approach me again. Unless they still have me in their databases, Fiamma29. And so they approach me thinking I'm a new person because I'm Fiamma. <clears throat> the list, yeah, there's, 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 there's a lot. <clears throat> Influencer, I know, right? Influencer. Uh, so for those of you who are new here, every time I see someone typing like upper, lower, upper, lower, upper, lower, I always think of them kinding, like making a bit, like kind of, mm -hmm. I don't know why. So that's just, it's become a thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm speaking so like, yeah. Yeah. Math is fun. Math is fun! Especially when it's got alphabet in it too. Got the raid, yay! Well done. Just stream. Oh no. Oh no. Doing amazing for oh, I'm dying. <laughs> I'm I'm dying. Where did it ages ago? Yas, Chaos. Yas. Raptor for the night. I think that's a good call. So much better at the self-promotion. Well, I kind of had to. I kind of had to. Oh, oh, okay. So here is the thing. It has become time for me to make a pitch deck. So if you don't know what a pitch deck is, it's basically a graphic that you send to somebody and it has like, you know, color theme and it's got like your, your social media reach and a little blurb about who you are and who you've worked with before and like a kind of like smiley photo and all that kind of stuff. I need to make a pitch deck. And like fuck, I am making a pitch deck that says... Please. That says Instagram 923. Piss off. <laughs> I needed to say something K. <laughs> Otherwise, like, what is it? So I, I am holding off on making a pitch deck until I can put something K 
for all of my fault. I'm not I'm not gonna put TikTok on there or Facebook because it's just silly. But I need to put I need to put Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram on there. Uh, my Twitch is currently sitting at 8.8k. Well, it's 8,799, uh, sorry, 8,779 followers. So, like, that's fine. 8.8k, totally fine. Uh, Twitter, we have 2,920 followers, uh, followers. So, 2.9, respectable. 923. No. Needs to be 1k. At least 1k. It's still shit if it's 1k, but we'll work on it. We'll work on it. Shit as in terms of an influencer. Like, I, I am exceptionally proud that I am managing to make it do the thing. Uh, and I'm hoping that once I actually start posting that that'll improve. Um, but so many of the fucking follows I get are people who go through and comment on my promote it on at world.streamers. DM at epic.streamers and blah, blah, blah. And they follow and then they unfollow a week later and it's like, um, but it's fine. I'm not tilted at all. It's fine. Audacity is a free audio editing thingy. Perfect. Audacity. There you go. Thank you so much. Thank you, nurse. Thank you, nurse. Exactly the tone I was going for with that. Yeah. Yeah. Are we going to sleep now? No worries, Bosch. We're about to wrap up. So rest well. I hope you have a fantastic evening. What? Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's basically a, a summary of who I am and what I have to offer in one handy graphic that I can just be like, hi, I'm Fia. I want to represent your brand and can you send me free stuff? Here's how many people I'll show. That's, that's essentially what it is. It's like a quick intro. Yeah. And it can make or break a person. Um, like a good, easy to read, well summarized pitch deck um, can get you a gig over someone who has more followers if they can't easily produce that information or it's difficult to read or it looks like it's a mess or a lot of people will pay to get them professionally done. I'm going to have a play around with making one myself, um, especially once I'm while I'm still under that 1k. Um, I want to have a play around and see if I can figure out because I'm getting pretty OK, like with with um, oopsie. Uh, like with, with this kind of stuff, like I'm getting half decent at presenting information in a easily digestible format. Um, but I want to have a look at some, cause I know that quite a few of my colleagues have them. Um, and so I can like grab them and try to have a look and see what's in common and, and kind of figure out my own style around it. But yeah, I want to make it super, super easy to read. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to go with dark background, light text, uh, just because it seems to be a lot easier to read for most people. Um, like people with regular eyesight can kind of do it, but then people who have funky eyesight can, can also, can read this stuff easier. Whereas the other stuff is really hard. Whereas like, you know, do you know what I mean? So I, I, yeah, I need to, I need to figure all that kind of stuff out and just get it to the place that I really like it. But, um, step one is have the numbers. Step one, yes. Share with friends, do the social follows. DM for follow. No, no, it's, it's DM this account. And this account is usually one that has like 300,000 followers and all of the posts on their feed are check out such and such end of caption. And it's a photo that they've had on their feed recently. So the way that it works is if you get a comment that says like DM Epic streamers or whatever, you go through to Epic streamers and you DM them and go like, hi, I was told to DM you to promote my stuff. And they go, okay, here's a list. And they give you a price list and you pay them money and send them the post that you made and they will put it on their feed for the cash. The idea is that you're supposed to be exposed to all these 300,000 people and like, you know, you'll get lots of followers because they'll see you on this feed and go, oh, they're kind of cool. And then they'll come through to you and then they'll, you, they'll follow you and stuff. But most of their accounts are going to be bot accounts, like they're fake followers, so their engagement rate will be trash. Uh, and then, so like, if you look, they'll have 300,000 followers, but one of their posts gets like 72 likes. So what's... Calculator, calculator. So it's an engagement rate of 0 0.00024. Whereas my engagement rate jumps anywhere between 2% and 11% which means that two to 11% of my 923 followers comment, like, or share one of my posts. If their engagement rate is that fucking low, you are throwing money down the toilet. 
Uh, and even then, what they might have set up is if they've got enough bot accounts following their thing, they may have a certain number of those set up so that as soon as they post something, X portion of those follows that account immediately, automatically. But they'll increase your follow count, but it won't increase your engagement rate. My engagement rate is fire. My engagement rate is re fucking ridiculous for an influencer. 11% on my top, good lord. Like if I had 10,000 followers and my engagement rate was 11%, like 1,100 people on every, every goddamn post, I would be making bank, bank. <laughs> so if you get hundreds of thousands of followers from these kind of places and your engagement rate drops down to sub 1%, no one's interested. Because like seeing your follower number, great. Awesome, she has 1K. Let's see what her engagement rate is. 2%, oh actually, that's not bad. That's not bad. Sorry, I got the number wrong before. Wait, 11%? No, that is right. No, I got it right, it's fine. Um, brain. Uh, but yeah, like, so, so, but then if I, if I had, oh, she's got 1k, oh, her engagement rate is like 1%, or like half a percent, 0 0.0024, like one person out of that thousand is going to like a post. We ain't going to make any sales off this bitch. <laughs> We're not going to make our money back. No. <laughs> so engagement rate is like the next really important thing, which is why I ask you guys to follow us instead of you know, paying for Instagram ads. <laughs> Although one day that's probably going to factor in. Um, but no, hashtags is where it's at. I need to learn how to use hashtags. <sighs> uh, DM for follow. I don't know about um, look, it'll probably be in there. I might. Uh, yeah, look, we'll see. We'll see. Um, there was a, uh, on Thursday, there was a Twitch event that I missed because I was dead. Um, but they rec they've recorded all of it, and one of them in there is how to build a pitch deck. So guess what I'm gonna be watching, slash listening to. Taking notes! Step one is underpants! Step one is underpants. Which just says, need some comfy underwear. Step one is fantastic. Uh, pain people in this economy. Yes! They're all bots anyway. Exactly, exactly. But the problem is some of those are bots that are set up to follow a thing immediately. So it makes it look like it's a successful business, but it is not. Uh, yep. Um, I should've just got Wimdy. So you can make it happen. <laughs> Sounds good, yeah, makes sense, yeah. What I would love is to see if there is, you know how we can have like follow goals and all that like bars on this here? <laughs> <laughs> that have like a follower goal or a sub goal or something like that. I wonder if I can set one up with an Instagram follow goal. If anyone has any spare time <laughs> to look into seeing if that is even a possibility, I would love that. I will also try to do some research, but I'm also working tomorrow and that's going to be one hell of a mental drain. But I, I'm sure that like... There must be something out there. It might be paid though, to be able to pull from that API and then all that, do you know what I mean? Like it might be a little bit, it might be a little bit. Um, or if you're a programmer, if you could send me a quote on what you would want, what you would ask for to build something like that as a, as a little thing, that would also be useful. I have no idea what like, <laughs> I don't know what it would entail, but if it's if it's something that is programmable, uh, and that is something that you have expertise on, fuck, send me a quote. Love supporting people. Uh, all right. I don't know how. Yes, yeah, looks like there's something which means it's possible at least. Uh, I would doubt that. Um, also, I don't know what we're supposed to like Streamlabs streaming software. Maybe they are not associated with slobs. Uh, no, not, a, not associated with OBS at all. They asked them, can we call our product slobs in reference to your open broadcasting software because we've used some of your code? And they said, no. And they launched as slobs anyway. Yep. Um, let's for donations to charity, surely. No, because a lot of the donations to charities, they only work for specific, like, um, You've got Tiltify, you've got St. Jude's, you've got blah, blah, blah. And they all have hookups to Twitch. Instagram doesn't have a hookup to Twitch. 
Um, so yeah, all the all the streaming stuff that we have here, everything here has some kind of a hookup to Twitch. And Instagram doesn't, which is why it would be a different type of thing. Anyway, I'm gonna go to bed. I'm over time already. Good go me. So we just did we just did Mount Farm Monday, which is just like here. Look at me aiming my finger. Go me. And then Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday we're doing Mario Party. Um, we're gonna start off doing something a bit different, I think. I'm not sure what exactly, uh, but I will figure something out. But um, once Jas gets home, we'll be switching to Mario Party. And we'll be playing with uh, the artists formerly known as Married with Pets. Uh, Jared and Yori are gonna jump on and we're gonna do some four player Mario Party. It's gonna be bonkers and just so much fun. I'm really looking for, I love Mario Party. And I'm, I'm wicked competitive, but I'm better at it nowadays. When I was young, oh god, you did not, ooh, I was a bad loser. But these days I'm slightly better at dealing with losing. So this will be entertaining. I'm probably going to lose everything. It'll be great. Um, uh, but yes, that's, that's what we're doing on Wednesday. And then on Friday, well, Friday is April 1st. So you'll just have to wait and see. Just have to wait and see. Uh, shit, I just saw I had redemptions that I didn't do. I am so sorry. Uh, that's alright though. I will refund the points to you. And we will go and do a raid. We'll go and do... Oh, uh, am I? No. Uh... Yeah, we'll go here. Yeah. Um. Uh, cool. All right. Raiding. Twitch raid. Grab your copy paste. If you do not have the Fiamma hype emote, either because you are not a sub or because you haven't unlocked it with your channel points, both of which are totally fine, you can still copy and paste the entire message, replace the Fiamma hype with your favorite happy, hypey, celebratory emote, and drop it in Marari's channel when we get there. Her, her name is actually pronounced Marari, but we have a suburb here called Marari, and so that's immediately what I thought her name was, and she has told me it's okay that I call her that because she feels like it's a pet name, and I'm like, okay, we're down with that. So <laughs> her name is actually Marari, um, but I call her Marari because she said it was okay. Uh, <laughs> so I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Uh, I am I am so tired. I'm going straight to bed, and I am very pleased about this. I'm going to lie down, and it's going to be glorious. Take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. And I will see you on Wednesday for some shenanigans. All love. Mwah. Bye, guys.